All right, welcome once again to HeroQuest fans. We are live on Twitch, not live anywhere else. All right, Jacer, Jacer is with us. So yeah, if you're wanting to play with us uh, and you're watching it live on Twitch, you can just hop into the Hero Quest fans Discord, Quest Talk. And we are preparing for the final leg of the journey in uh, the Frozen Horror Barbarian Quest Pack. It's going to be a long one. It's probably going to take us, I'm not kidding, a couple of months. Because it's a long double quest. But before all that, we've got to prepare. Kassan PL is here. Welcome. Excellent. So we got a couple of heroes tonight. Cyber Priest is here. Welcome. Yeah, any of you who want to take control of heroes, just hop into our uh, Quest Talk Discord. How do you pick the dice up off the screen? What's that? How do you pick the dice up off the screen? Oh yeah. Um, so you should... or, or are they just stuck there, or? So there's a toolbar. Yeah, I'll give you a quick tutorial. It's it's not as bad as learning tabletop simulator. So you wanna here? Let me just put this in the Discord for people first. Oh, Gasan, you're watching. That's fine. Yeah. So first, you've got to uh, configure your dice. So over on the left hand corner, there's gonna be. Um, a symbol of like some squares, some boxes. Click you on that. Three dice and a plus sign. Now I got dice. I got the you blue got ones, the red ones. But you just uh, click on I... them on the on the bottom in your toolbar. You click on the dice that you want, and then you click the roll button. Yes, but how do they get off of the Hero Quest fan Twitch screen after, or do they just all sit there? Because right now there's. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight or nine dice sitting there. Yeah. I think I'm the only one who can actually click? clear the screen. Okay, so you'd have to clear the screen for the roll. Okay. Because when I was rolling, it was just rolling right over top of them. Yeah. So did you see there, I just rolled three movement dice? And I should have cleared the screen. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, right, there's a bunch of dice, and that's what I was saying, it's just bunch of other dice underneath it too and every time i was rolling it's hard to see which dice are which oh yeah well let's take a look at our screen and i'll uh hopefully be able to see the same thing you're seeing yep see there i just saw your dice you're rolling in the fog so you got uh two white shields two black shields and two skulls Is that what you're seeing? Yeah, and then like when I go and pick the, or hit the little thing with the hand and they're picking up the dice, it doesn't seem to pick those dice up. That's why I was asking if there's a way to pick them up. Hmm. Oh wait, now they're gone. Yeah, the hand is supposed to only pick up the dice you roll, not anyone else's dice. I kind of okay, prefer so to gets... clear the whole screen because otherwise you got dice bouncing on top of dice. It's not a perfect system, right. but thanks to Ribby. For no, but okay. Setting it up. But that's what I was uh, trying to figure out. Alright, so if I do that and then it rolls the dice and then I hit this and wait a couple seconds and then the dice should disappear. Yeah. Okay, cool. So it's D, D, dice. D, or D, D, dice, yeah. D, D, the ICE dot com. And our room is N I D J capital R lowercase X O. So we've got uh yeah, you can also at the top left hand of the screen you can click on your name and change your name. So I've got like player one, two, three or player three, two and four, and then Ribby's here. Ribby's always here. 
yeah, the only thing is, the only people that are going to be rolling dice are us. So <laughs> if other people just come in and start rolling dice, it's like, ah, you're going to get kicked. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay, so before we start, um, so we've just got one hero, Jacer. So I guess um, this, these are going to be the last two quests. So who do you want to control? Definitely stick with the knight. Okay. I just got... Okay, now I'm back in the room. Okay. All right. So um, we'll, we can pretty much just pool all the gold together and you can just buy whatever you need you think you need and I figure we can just add people as as time goes on there is nobody else then for the moment <laughs> to, does, does to, yeah at the moment to start yeah okay since you've got some gold to spend I'm going to bring up the uh, shopping screens. Never really expanded these at all, uh, at least not in, in this configuration. Okay, so if you want to dig out your character sheet, I can update you on, on everything. So the knight has all of his body points restored, so he should be back to seven and two mind points. He's got Fortune's Longsword. So that's three attack dice, including diagonal. He's got, for his defense, he's got six. That's uh, five white and one green. He's wearing plate armor. He's got the spike shield and a helmet. And he's, got, of course, got his three abilities back. Knight's Challenge, Stalwart, and Shield Block. For potions, you should have a Potion of Warmth, two Holy Waters, Potion of Healing 1d6, Antidote, Toolkit. Well, it's not a potion, but he's got a toolkit. Potion of Magic Resistance, Well, he's got two potions of magic resistance. One, I think, is the effects of spells, and the other is just damage-causing spells. Okay. And the combined gold from everyone from last time was 840 gold coins. Now... Let's see. Yeah, some things were, some equipments were lost or stolen. And the, uh, the Ice Queen Spear, the Crossbow, and I think the Bandolier. Yep. Okay. Believe it or not, I was looking at the old, uh, character sheets and there was actually um, briefly we used uh, an elf for one quest and a dwarf for two quests so they actually have all their gear just kind of sitting in storage so if you want you could grab some of their stuff I can just tell you what they've got you be the crossbow <laughs> Um, actually, yes, the elf had a crossbow. Now, if you... definitely take the cross, take the crossbow. All right. Well, or actually, just uh, add the elf. He's got to have uh, at least a ranged character. Okay. And so some you... spells. Yeah, bring the elf. All right. So you want to control two heroes? And the... yeah, well, bring and if somebody else wants to come in and start playing one that's great too I'd bring the barbarian as well and if the dwarf has gear bring him 
bring those four guys and if somebody else wants to swap one out or use one that's great so you don't mind controlling multiple heroes i guess is the point right yeah i mean all else fails we can hang out in a room yep all right what do you want to use for a turn order or character order? um uh, I guess do the elf and then the dwarf and then the knight and barbarian. Elf, dwarf, knight, barbarian. Okay, that's going to require just a little bit of rearranging on my part here. Okay, so the elf gets the uh, crossbow. Actually, I'll just grab the old character sheet. That works better. I'll just fold it over. Okay, so let me detail the gear that they have. So the dwarf, of course, has seven body points and three mind points. And he's got four attack dice because he has a battle axe. And he also has a dagger. So that's one, of course. His armor is four because he has bracers and a helmet. And his potions include magic resistance, warmth, fire resistance, two antidotes, a healing plus four, And he's got the Warhog Bladder, which is just the, uh, basically your Swift Wind. Got all that? No. I'm trying. Uh, no, I have magic. Uh, was it magic resistance for it? Uh, healing plus four, the Warhog Bladder, uh, two antidotes. Fire resistance and warmth. Fire resistance. Yep. All right. And then the elf, who's going to be going first? Okay, the elf, of course, has six body points, four mind points. And yeah. for a weapon, he's got a long sword and the crossbow, so three or three. For armor, he's got bracers, shield, and helmet. So that's five total. Ready for the potions? Yep. All right. So he's got Potion of Restoration. That's the uh, smaller one that just gives you one and one. One body, one mind. Warmth. Yep. Potion of Alchemy. Okay. Potion of Defense. Potion of Airwalk, yep. Magical Walk. Magical Aptitude. Okay. Uh, which one is that? Is that to get a new get a spell back? Or is that a different one? No, you can just use two two spells on a turn instead of one. Okay. Yeah. All right, so it's Magic Wand for a turn. Mm -hmm. uh, healing one d six. 
I said warmth, right? Yeah. Okay. Holy yep, water. One more. He also has holy water. Okay. And let's see. Also, he has shellac and mortar, which is rock skin. All right. So since you're going to be having the elf, what uh, three spells do you want him to have? No, give him fire. You want to give him fire? Yeah. Okay. He's got fire. Uh, what was it? Dwarf? Two skills? Uh, we'll have to draw those because we're starting a new okay. adventure. So yeah, all the uh, all the old uh, hero combat cards are reset. All the mercenaries that you had before are gone, unless you uh, pay to rehire them. Okay. Um, and I give the dwarf the. Alchemy potion, so you can pour it on the dagger. <laughs> I thought you might do that. Okay. All right. So, okay, so we'll cross off the dagger and the alchemy potion. So that's a hundred gold for you. Alchemy dagger. All right. I that to nine forty. Nine forty. Yep. Okay. Oh yeah, do you need the Barbarian stats? Did I give him speed? So yeah, he's rolling basically 1d6 plus 2 squares. Alright. And because he's wearing the Amulet of the North, he's got 10 max body points, 3 max mind points. Okay, and ready for his potions? Yeah, he has, I have the great sword, cold iron, uh, plate, helmet, snowshoes, and the other north. What else you got? Okay, so he's got, well, also he's got the, um, yeah, the amulet of the north I mentioned, the armband of ice, and a toolkit. And for potions, he's got Dexterity, Magic Resistance, that's the effects one, Potion of Defense, Potion of Speed, Healing 1d6, he's got two of those. And uh, let's see. He's got a Fire Lance scroll, which is. Fire Lance is uh, Fire Wrath. And he's got a vial of holy water. Okay. I think I got everything. Okay. And of course, you know the knight's special abilities with the um, Wandering Monster, the quest. He gets black dice against them, and of course, he always has a green die to roll as long as he's got a spiked shield with him. Or any type of shield, really. And the, we'll have the, um, the elf gets to, ro gets to draw one random potion at the start of the quest here. 
Let me get rid of the fog. Fog of war. Shout out, shout out to uh, Carl Casey at White Bat Audio for the music. Oh, and my little uh, body point tracker is not going to be accurate at the moment here. To change this all around. If you just give me a moment, I will fix that up for you. So we got the elf first. Yeah, so be thinking about what you want your um, want to spend your gold on. While we're doing this, maybe somebody else will show up after our best laid plans. So have you ever played these uh, last two quests before? No. Yeah, they they look pretty extensive. So this is going to be a two-parter. OK, so the elf is first. I played a couple random quests from this and from Mage of the Mirror back in the 90s and oh, that was it i only had one, I had one friend with this with these two expansions and my other buddy had keller's keep and Retor return of the witch lord so ah. i had two friends and they each had two expansions so it's good that uh, had that had hero together. quest so that was where i got it all from good excuses to get together it's like hey you've got this we've got that yep and the one had battle masters and the other one had Dragon Strike. So there was some a little bit of home brewing on on each end nice. from having different stuff. And I just had the Hero Quest, and I had Dark World. So I had another board and extra stuff, and then I had um, Dungeon hardcore. Quest. So I had some extra cards. You know what I mean? So we all had a little bit of different stuff. Y'all had something. So, to yeah, contribute. I never had. I never had the expansion. So. Yeah, I was gonna I say now it through, seems like you have you have everything, <laughs> or a lot. A, a, a good amount, yeah. Yeah. Now I still have to get Mage in the Mirror, but yeah, I got Frozen Horror. So do you? Uh, one, do you, do you... Uh, one step further, and I got uh, Keller's Keep and Return of the Witch Lord, and that's already painted. So nice. I, I'm ahead on that. Now, <laughs> do you have any mixed feelings about the new? Uh about the changes to Mage of the Mirror, or are you cool with that, what they've done? I don't exactly know everything they've done yet. I kind of, because I haven't played through it yet, I kind of don't want too much on it either. Ah, uh, no spoilers. Well. That's the reason, like, I stayed as a hero. The only thing I knew about was the ogre going down to five. Yeah, uh, like the first point. thing we found out. Well, the other changes, yeah. I think... They're subtle enough that if you choose to ignore them and just play it the way it was, you, you easily can, and the players will never know the difference, really. Um, but, yeah, it, I think they subtly improve. They don't necessarily fix every glitch or problem with the original, but I think they do make uh, they do make it a little bit better. Of course, I say that as one who's only played, like, the first quest a couple of times, and that's it. <laughs> But just having looked over them, you know, with the Eye of Zargon. Yeah, like I said, I don't know what it, exactly all the changes were. I just know, I only knew the one. Alright, does that so look... I wasn't sure what was going on. Does that look right to you? So we've got Elf for 6, Dwarf for 7, Knight for 7, Barbarian for 10. And that's the turn order. Okay. Okay, and this screen is like right in my way.
All right, so we've got our dice overlay, and we know how to use that. The only thing I'm concerned about is when we were doing our rant cast, it seemed like it was lagging us a little bit. So I don't know if that's going to happen if we roll like a lot of dice. It's not like sure either. The numbers just popped up now from when on my screen from when you said you were putting oh, them in. But yes, big six, lag. Six, seven, seven, ten. Okay. All right. Well, uh, if you can see over on the left hand side in your lower screen, that's the that's the starting iron door. And I'm going to go ahead and read off the story. And if you see anything in chat that I'm missing, of course, please let me know. Of course, all of you people who are watching who are not controlling heroes, and welcome um, Aconite, Shadow Moss, as well. So this is HeroQuest fans, and you have channel points if you're watching us live on Twitch, twitch.tv slash HeroQuestFans, every, just about every Saturday, 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. Central Time. When we get started, of course, we almost always have something that delays it just a little bit. We try to have a hard stop. And his name is John! John. Hey! 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 Welcome, Ribby. Oh, Sound Alerts even plays that thing over the top. Interesting. I think... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so we're going to play this quest. And those of you who are not controlling heroes, Ooh, everybody yeah. decides... Hey, thanks, Anixius for the sub. Awesome. Yeah. So everybody who's not controlling a hero, uh, you can use your channel points in the chat, your gold coins to buy stuff for the heroes or for Zargon, make it more interesting. And I just want to say that this, these last two quests, I'm going to be pulling out all the stops. So Zargon's got a few more tricks up his sleeve than before. All right. Quests nine and 10, double quest, the heart of ice. Now that the scepter of glacial majesty has been destroyed, the frozen horror is vulnerable. The time to destroy it is now. Start from the iron entrance door. First, you must find the spiral stairway that leads to the frozen catacombs. There you will find the crystal key. This key will open the final door, the door to the seat of power, where the frozen horror awaits. Be sure to take mercenaries along on your quest. Well, and they give you that warning, so... With your 940 gold, what would you like to buy? I guess the question is, what are the uh, the heroes starting with? Ah, hey Anixius, so you're Hello. you're playing too? Yes. All right. Well, we picked our four heroes, so we've got... Um, I'm going to have to go through it all again. So, <laughs> we decided on a turn order here. We had the Elf, the Dwarf, the Knight, and the Barbarian. Since you'll be playing two, uh, are you okay with that setup, or would you like to pick uh, maybe some different heroes? No, I'm good with whatever. Which two am I using? Well, Jacer, you're usually the Knight, so I assume you're going to take... Ten body, three mind. Um, he's got a fire of lan fire lance, so that's like fire of wrath. He's got holy water, potion of defense, potion of speed, two healing one d sixes, potion of dexterity, potion of magic resistance, toolkit, amulet of the north, arm band of ice. So he's he's loaded, and he's got the snowshoes of speed. So even though he's wearing the cold iron plate, he moves one d six plus two squares. Um, the, that's the Barbarian. The Elf, we haven't picked the Elf's, well, yeah, we were going to say fire spells, but if you end up controlling the Elf and you want to pick different spells, you can. Uh, he's got a Potion of Restoration, that's the smaller one with the one and one. Potion of Defense, Potion of Warmth, Healing 1d6, Potion of Airwalk, Magical Aptitude, Shellac and Mortar, which is rock skin. He's got Holy Water. He attacks with three, because he's got a long sword and a crossbow. Five defense, because he's got bracers, helmet, and shield. Six body points, four mind points, as usual. 
And then the dwarf, of course, with his amazing trap disarming ability. He's got a battle axe, so four attack. And he's got four defense because he's got bracers and a helmet. Seven body points, three mind points, of course. Potion wise, he's got magic resistance, warmth, fire resistance, healing plus four. So he's got one of those. He's got an antidote and the warhog bladder, which is um, swift wind. Oh, I forgot. He's got two antidotes, not just one. So I went through that kind of fast, but does that kind of give you an idea? Mm-hmm. All right, so which two is, would you like? Anybody using the Barbarian or wanting to use the bar? He's yours if you want him. Sure, I'll continue him. All right. So Onyxius, the Barbarian. All right, and who's your second choice? Um, the Rogue, I suppose, since I already have all the stuff from last time written down, too. Um, personally, I'm not recommending that the Rogue <laughs> take this one, but if you want to oh, use okay. him instead of the Elf, I mean... No, no, I, I can take the Elf. Um, Someone can always join in later with the Rogue, I suppose. Jace, what two are you taking? The Knight and something else? Uh, Knight was... I mean, I would take anything. It doesn't matter. The knight, I like. Um, I don't mind the dwarf either. Who's my... Before they made the knight, it would have been dwarf all day long. <laughs> okay. Most of then... the time, I played, a, I played a dwarven knight as a as the hero quest character. <laughs> <laughs> the knightly dwarven rogue barbarian wizard elf. Warlock druid. It's like he has go... just like 30 <laughs> cards. His, t his turns take an hour, but man, he kicks butt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll take the barb and the elf. All right, sounds good. Yeah, sorry to to uh, nix the rogue on you. No, no, all good. I just I I picked him initially, and it's like it was so late in the quest. It was just well, so late in the campaign. Didn't have a chance to level up really. Yeah, the barbarian's been with us since the beginning. That and him losing the bandolier kind of nicked that whole ambidextrous feat for most of it. Well, yeah, that's that still hurts me. Technically, the ban losing the bandolier only limits his ability to have the regenerating dagger. All his other abilities were still intact. I'm still having nightmares from that. <laughs> well, maybe. right, but if he does, if he doesn't have the bandolier, then he doesn't have a short sword or a dagger to attack to make the second attack. Well, all he needs is just any dagger, and he can do it. I mean, I'm assuming he's, like, stabbing with the dagger as opposed to throwing it. Because, yeah, otherwise, he throws yeah, the dagger, it's well, gone. It's gone. Right. Well, that's what I mean. Like, you're kind of without the bandolier, and this, you know, oh, his first that's attack versatile. is nice, but, right, it's, it's either... Gotta be adjacent. And he's got no armor. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Well... You got the 940 gold. You want to spend it, or or what? Lavish funerals are the big the big thing these days. <laughs> uh, Jace, you got any recommendations? That's assuming they can recover the bodies. Yeah, um, I would do two of every mercenary. Okay. Good. All right. Let me just calculate that out. So two. So that's a right. A hundred for two scouts. A hundred and fifty for two how how many is? Uh, hundred and fifty for two crossbow men. So that's four hundred. And then a hundred for the swordsmen. So that's two hundred for that. So that's six hundred. Is that right? All right. Let me write that down here. You just want to divide them up evenly? Like sure. yeah. each player gets uh, one of each. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Well, and I suppose, does which one of you wants gray? And which one of you wants red? I think the gray uh, one. 
Yeah, I'll take the red. Okay. Okay, so red for Anixius. Gray for Jacer. So there's 340 gold left. You want to just divide that in half? Maybe buy some beers to take with us. <laughs> some frosty beer. Let's see. Didn't actually make that a purchase purchasable item. Three forty left, so one hundred and seventy. Yeah. I'll give it to the knight to hold on to. All right, so the knight will have 170. And who do you want you to yeah. be your money carrier, Anixius? Ah, uh, the barb. All right. Also, this means that... Well, no, I guess it doesn't necessarily mean that. I was going to say, like, if somebody joins late, they can use some of that gold to spend, but... You guys will be having it in the dungeon, I suppose. Head back to the door and hand it off <laughs> before you come through this door. <laughs> you know, I just yeah, yeah. I found an extra. Uh, oh yeah, I, uh, yeah. The knight gives the uh, the rogue the 170 to Hang hold on. at the door because he trusts him so much. <laughs> can't uh, can't take it with you. All right, so the rogue is gonna hang onto it. Anixius, do you want to entrust your gold to somebody back home? Uh, I guess you gave uh, yours to the rogue, right? Yep. Rogue hole, yep. Yeah, I'll just give the rogue mine as well. Okay. He's not allowed to leave the stairwell until he counts all the money. <laughs> The alchemist is going to spend it all at the magic shop, and uh, the other knight, of course, would take it to the local tavern and spend it, you know, as you do at taverns, and just just wouldn't be a good good idea. <laughs> okay, all right, let's get this quest started. Uh, no. Okay, so uh, Anixius, do you know all about the D Dice place? Hey, there we go. Um, I see a three. You rolled a three. That was just a 1d6. Yeah, click on it again and roll another one. Okay, we'll we'll count this one. So you rolled a four. All right. Yeah, if you roll the plus, you'll roll all the dice in that little box or in the square. And if you hit just the box, it'll just add one of those dice. Or if you, I guess... The actual die. Yeah, because you can keep clicking on, so you roll like ten dice. You click, 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 click. You know, on each each picture, and it'll tell you like about to roll two d six, three d six, or whatever. But yeah, anyway. Okay, all right. Where do you want the elf to go? You got the um, door here on the uh, westernmost corner. Let's. Uh, let's go. Uh, do the door and straight up or straight over okay so the door opens boom the elf steps inside so now you can see north and south so I got to reveal some stuff all right to the north you see a door a closed door leading to that dark purple room And that's all you see. Okay. Then let's continue straight to the right, to the east of the path. Okay. Two, three, four. Oh. And... Huh? Go for it. Uh, search... Four traps, I suppose. All right. You get an uneasy feeling, but you've detected no traps. Mm 
<laughs> well, all right. All right. Now, since your your characters are kind of split up, it's up to you whether you want to move some mercenaries now or want to wait until the end. I'm going to wait until the end. Okay. All right. You've got the red mercs. Jacer's got the gray mercs. Okay. All right. Jacer, you're up finally. Uh, dwarf. What's his skill? Oh, of course. We're going to do those cards, don't we? Charisma. Drawing inspiration from you, one henchman instantly recovers from one wound that would otherwise have killed him. This is only for the henchman under your control. Mm -hmm. All right. And your second one, Faint. Sudden unexpected move puts you at an advantage. You may reroll one set of dice. So you can reroll your attack, your defense, or your movement. Okay. All right. Yeah, thanks for reminding me. I would have forgot. So that's for the no dwarf. Problem. And let's, let's do it for the barbarian as well. So barbarian, mighty blow, hidden reserve of strength. Uh, after rolling your combat dice, multiply by two the final die results and apply the result against your opponent. Second one, dodge and trip. I know it's like we had these in the last quest, but what card didn't we have in the last <laughs> in the last uh, quest? Successfully sidestep opponent's attack and take no damage. Furthermore, as he rushes by, you trip him, causing him to fall heavily to the ground. He loses his next turn. So that's for the Barbarian. Okay. Well, let me just write those down. So dodge and trip. Mighty blow. And for Dwarf, faint and charisma. Okay. All right. Go ahead, dwarf. Ooh. All right. Four. Uh, I guess he's going to head, uh, you know, he's going to go in and then go north one space and search for traps. Two. Okay. There are no traps detected in the northern or southern corridor. Okay. All right. Um, barbarian. Uh, knight. Barbarian goes last. Or knight. Oh yeah, knight. Uh, dwarf knight. All right, knight. Roll. Well, now we're gonna have the dice piling up, or do we? Need to... Okay. Six. I, I hit the pick up button. Oh, uh, but I just... let's uh, let's reset that because he really should only be rolling one for the night. It... Oh, pfft. see, I, I listened to the first thing you said and ignored the second thing. No, you're right. <laughs> you're right. You're right. It's the barbarian. Okay, so six. Yeah, my bad. Um, just put him at the the door to the north, but not opening just standing there and search for secret doors two three four so right up to the door you said yep and then a search for secret doors okay there are no secret doors all right, all right pick up dice and barbarian let's get some more light on this there we go Okay, now the barbarian. <laughs> what is one D six? Ah, six. So he gets eight with his snowshoes of speed. Um, let's. Go to the door. Um, 
At an angle, can I open the door? You gotta open it head on. But yes, you can poke okay. through the door with your diagonal stick if you want to. Sure, let's do that. Okay. To th oh, the door is open, and the barbarian looked in. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to reveal what he would have seen through the doorway, not necessarily the entire room. Does that make sense? Thanks. Okay. Yep. So he sees a number of things. He sees... Sorcerer's Table. Which I have painted, of course. And he also sees a number of monsters. Now, these Chaos Mutants that you see before you have the same abilities as a skeleton. a couple of those and there's also an orc here and there's another orc over here and I think just out of the corner of your eye you do see Another Chaos Mutant right here. Servants of the Frozen Horror. Alright, Barbarian. What are you going to do? Piss myself. <laughs> Sorry. Um. It freezes in your pants. Oh, right? <laughs> Definitely not going to open the door, but I will let the others kind of whisper, uh, a bunch of bad guys in there. <laughs> yep. Right, That'll be it. Cameras, because the action is all right there. Where you're at, you can't actually hit anything, Barbarian. Okay. Because your diagonal strike would just be in, uh, in that first square inside the door. Okay. Anything else? Um, no, no. No actions, okay. I guess, Jacer, you can do your mercenaries first there. So you got Team Gray. Alright, well I guess the Swordsman's gonna go first. And he's gonna move five spaces and I guess step in front of the knight and attack one of those skeletons. One, two, three, four, five... Okay, he's just been hit by a stalactite trap. Let me make sure I'm reading this accurately. This deadly spear of ice clings to the ceiling of ice caverns. Unless searched for and disarmed, the stalactite falls upon the first hero or mercenary to move on to the trap, causing one body point of damage. Doesn't say it right. ends your turn, though. So, that's one hit for him. But he's still alive. Uh, is he within shouting distance of the dwarf so he can use his charisma? Let's see. Instantly recover some one wound that would otherwise have killed him. Well, it didn't kill him. Oh, okay, no, it didn't kill him. Okay. Yeah, so... Alright, then I guess I'll attack the uh, skeleton. The one below him or the one to the right of him? Uh, uh, just the one below him. Okay. All right, roll your combat dice. It'd be four, four white dice. Now let's see if it disconnects us. <laughs> All right, and maybe clear the dice one. after you roll it. Okay, so that's one skull. Yeah. Right, click the little paintbrush icon. All right, thank you. All right, um, I'll roll my dice. Hey, I can just roll them on the screen. All right, he's normal. Okay. Now I'll roll for the orcs. Top orc. He's normal. Second orc. He's normal. Okay, so they're all normal. All right, so the... Um, so you got one skull or... Yeah, one skull. One skull, okay. So he rolls two defense. Ordinary defense. 
Ching. That's weird. It looks cockeyed on the screen, but it's not. It's not actually cockeyed. Okay. All right. So successful defense. All right. Um, if the move in the halberdier is to the north of the swordsman. Two, three, four, five, six. All right. And I should have uh, said that as soon as the swordsman went in, he actually revealed another door right here in the upper left corner. I'm going to have him attack diagonally. Okay. So is he attacking the skeleton or... Oh, I see. Yeah, he, I guess he has his pick. He can attack an orc. He can attack one of the... Or no, I guess he can just attack the lower mutant. Let's see, where is that? No, I guess he does have his pick. He can attack all three. Just these monsters are very large. They take up a lot of room. So, uh, you know what? Have him attack the orc then. Attack the orc? Okay. Yeah, that makes more sense. Uh, he does more attack dice. There, I'll move uh, it. One call. It's a little easier to see. Okay, one skull. Ooh, no defense. It's a kill. Right. Down goes the orc. First blood. All right. All right. Um, I guess put the scout all the way in that room, all the way, uh, uh all the way to the north, I guess, and attack the Seven. other skeleton. Okay. All right, roll your two. One skull. All right. Ooh, nothing. The mutant goes down to the floor, never to return. I guess the crossbow man just move him, I guess, six spaces so he'll sit uh, above the barbarian. I really can't, I can't get him in that room anywhere. Five. You want him in the room or in the hallway? Uh, the hallway. I don't think he can get in the room with six spaces. Oh, you're right. Yeah, the uh, swordsman failed to kill, so. Yeah. Okay. All right. Anixius, Team Red for Mercenaries. Got them all queued up here behind the door. Uh, let's see. Um, if you can get your scout in there to kill the one that's by the one of the skeletons by the door, it'll let you get a uh, halberdier or a crossbowman in. Yeah, let's go ahead and see if I can do that. Trying to get the dice screen back. Well, I've got 20. Well, I have 50-something just from all the okay. downloaded quests for the quest jam. Let's not so brag one, about how many one of those ads who's got to <laughs> open at a time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Amalgamash's quest jam is pretty pretty sweet. You're right, and I didn't realize like when I was downloading each one, each one opened another 
page on top of the other 50 pages I had open already. Yeah, closing some of those might uh, free up some system resources. Mm-hmm. All right. So, Mercs are still taking max movement, is that correct, or no? Yeah. Don't have to roll for them. So, yeah, your uh, your scouts got nine. Everybody else has six except for the swordsman who has five. So you can okay. move them in any order you want. Um, so I should be able to get in there with my ranged, right? The... Um, one, two, oh, the archer. Three, four, five, six. Actually, no. Because you got to have yeah, one square to use one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, you got to get the scout in there and kill the skeleton that's next to my swordsman. And then you can get your halberder in there and get put him in that space and either attack the other skeleton diagonally. And that would let you get your crossbowman in to get the last orc or whatever that is yeah it's an orc yeah okay but i won't be able to do it this round right since i can't get in there you can get in there only if the scout goes in there and kills the skeleton okay to move him out of your way and then you could where the skeleton is is you could put the halberdier there and that gives him access to kill the other skeleton to the south and then you could bring in your crossbowmen and then he can attack with the bro the orc with his broadsword. The swordsman can't get in there. Okay. Because you can pass yeah. through all these gray figures. You just can't pass through the white or the green. All right, let's do that. Okay, so you're going to send in the scout. One, mm -hmm. two, three, four, five, six, seven. Up above? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right there above that skeleton. All right. Since you're in command, Anixius, is that good? You concur. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He concurs. Should have concurred. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Roll your two dice. Ah, Ribby. Yeah, Ribby. It's all the night scouting orders from the doorway. <laughs> oh, I missed Ribby's comment uh, from uh, First Blood. They do, they do First Blood, sir, not me. They do First Blood. <laughs> Yeah. Two skulls. Okay. And he redeemed an uncommon feat. So you guys have got one of those. I should say you've also still got a, um, another uncommon feat from last time. So you've got two of them and you've got a treasure search. So I guess whatever, whenever you think you'll need that. So I'll roll my two defense. So that was one skull, right? Two skulls. Oh, two. Oh, man. Should pay more attention. Yep. That's a kill. Later, Gator. Got him. <laughs> Back to the lab with that one. Okay. All right. Now you've got some room to bring in some more troops. So what will your other mercenaries yep. do? Um, the, uh, let's see, got that there. So we'll move in the, uh, not the barbarian. Oh my God. My brain today has just been fried. Uh, Halvedere. The Halvedere. The Yeah. So bring him that in. That one screws then... me up every time. <laughs> <laughs> and Bidier. then it's, <laughs> we're going to attack the, um, uh, uh, I think the white one was an orc or a skeleton? Six. Skeleton, uh, skeletal mutant or chaos mutant? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta attack him diagonally and that would give you yep. six spaces for your crossbow, man. You guys. I need to, like, put this on the laptop and move you into the game room and have it on the big TV. Yeah, looks pretty good. <laughs> if I do say so myself. I did have the 
was it Toku or something like that on the Roku, so I was watching the Twitch, Toku but the Roku. delay on my TV was so much slower than the, yeah, it's the, was it, the, yeah, Toku or something I think it is, it's on mm-hmm. the Roku, but it's the, the fake Twitch, because it's not supported officially anymore. <laughs> they call it Glitch. Okay. <laughs> that probably would have been a better name than Toku. It's Bluetube and Glitch, and it's like Toku, it's like, what is this? All right. Okay. So, um, so you're attacking the. So the halberdier is attacking the mutant. And how many dice did you get? I didn't roll anything yet. Okay. Roll your three. The, um. Three white. Okay. Two skulls and. Uh, see, you just have. Uh, just click on each individual die. So like click, 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 and that'll give you a three. I'll let you just re-roll it. Well, no, that's fine. Because I got, since those two were the shields, I rolled two skulls first, and I meant to do it one die. Oh. But they both ended up as a shield. I'll take that. Yeah, that's fair enough. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> All right. But from now on, we're doing it the right way. Okay. So just... Double tap the dice itself, then. Yep. Yeah, also, before you click roll, you can also click on the where it says roll for 2d6. You can, like, make it go down as well. Okay, well, that's nothing, so dead. Made short work of them. It's just the first room, guys. Just the first room. Yeah. Okay. All right. You got two more mercenaries out there. What are they going to do? Um, we're going to... And one more monster in the room. Yep. We're going to go towards them. Uh... I guess the swordsman doesn't have enough to actually get into the room. No, it would just be the crossbowman. Yep. Let's take the crossbowman in, and uh, it looks like two enemies. Which one is? Six. Oh, it's candles. <laughs> it looks I mean, different. You can, you can attack the candles if you want to, but <laughs> I'll just warn you that uh, that you might get wax on yourself in the process. <laughs> that stuff. That stuff stings. Then you have to roll a five or a six on a red die to try to avoid the burn damage. Yeah, that'd be a mess. <laughs> Fire damage. <laughs> to if you I mean, those were tallow candles back then. You know, there's nothing to mess around with. It gets inside your armor. It's like, ah. <laughs> okay. All right. So, um, so the crossbowman, you want to be face to face with the orc, I guess. Yeah, unless I can. B range, can you point at the orc? It's the green one, right? Yep. Okay. Oh, yeah, then I guess I would be face-to-face with the movement that I have to do, right? Yeah. So, yeah, yeah let's just do that, and then... Three. Pull out the broadboard. Hey, Joe Kozier. Yeah, we had some technical issues today, but it, it's, it's all working out. All right, so two skulls. You're Merc for ticket it there. Yeah. Oh, nothing. All right, the room is clear. All right, so then uh, we'll bring in... Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. (laughs) I'm still moving your swordsman. Still in the still in the game, guys. Well, he moved into the door. I oh yeah, I, okay, sure. Go ahead, you can move him. Um, because it's not like it has to be in a certain order, just so that you have a chance to move them all if you want. Yeah, I uh, just in. I, does he have enough to go in the room? But there's no other Two, doors three, in there. Four, five. Nope. There is another door in there. That uh, the door goes north. Yeah, right above the. Uh, oh, I scout. see it. Right above the gray scout. Okay, well then, yeah. If I can move into the room, 
then I'll just move into the room. One, two, three, four. Five. Yeah. Not the new room, the current room. Yeah, but the swordsman doesn't even have enough movement to reach the room. Gotcha. Okay. All, he could he could go down the hallway. He could uh, go ahead of the you elf. Could put him next to the put him next to the elf. Sure. Or ahead. I mean, it's up to you. You want to put him on this square, right? <laughs> Is that too obvious? <laughs> you already searched. Yeah, it's fine. Card for Zargon. All right, thank you for that. Trap. Always a trap. <laughs> okay, well, if you're done, uh, it's my turn. Yes, go ahead. All right. Fine, I'll allow it. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Mentor. Okay, all right. Play this card immediately after drawing it. Map. One of the heroes may pick an unexplored room. The contents of this room must be revealed without opening the door. Read aloud the following text. You find a map. Details of the dungeon. All right. One of you pick a room. Go for it. I got to pick one last time. All right. The center room. The very center? Okay. All right. It, it, unfortunately, we got this so early, like we don't really know what else is going on. So mm -hmm. it's either that or the, or the very next room we're walking in. That is fascinating. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to go center room. Must be revealed. <laughs> okay, without reve without opening the door. Okay. All right, this is going to take some doing. Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. Well, I guess I picked a doozy. <laughs> <laughs> And that's the power of homebrew, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, as I said, it's a little unfortunate that that's the first card picked because it's so early. But maybe, like I said, I picked the right room, so there's going to be something. The center room is usually a safe bet that something's going down. There. Let's see, there's, there's more. But wait, there's more. Oh, that's the throne room? Yep. All right. Don't worry. We are not going there yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that's wrong. But wait, there's more. There you go. Every minister from Frozen Horror. <laughs> All right. Happy? <laughs> um, ask me at the end of the game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean like in a couple of minutes? <laughs> Yeah. All right. Whatever he says to me, Elf has on going in that room, I suggest he redirect his course. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the door in that room? Oh, I got to show you the door, too? I guess it, it doesn't really say, but all right. Well, I guess I would only see the, the door from the inside of the room, I guess, but... <laughs> There you go. Okay. So it's straight in. <laughs> wow. That's a lot of that's a lot of body points of monsters right there. 
Yep. So the heroes resign. Is that what I'm hearing? <laughs> <laughs> The big boy is getting spicy. Oh, man. You said it, Ruby. Chicken. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, well, I mean, that's that's the beauty of uh, homebrew. Okay. Okay, so uh, Zargon's turn. Well, I'm not going to start bashing my way through the door yet. So. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Just thinking about all the ways I could handle this situation. Okay. Straightforward approach. All right. Back to the elf. Oh, Joe Kozier has a story. Funny story. I thought that since the house was dark this afternoon, the power was out, since it was out all around us. About an hour ago, my wife asked why I was sitting in the dark. It was warm enough the furnace didn't turn on while I was home. Boy, do I feel like an idiot. Oh, classic. Oh, man. All right, Elf. Um, Let's backtrack, see if I can roll high enough to go into that room. Anyone east of Ohio, get ready for some nasty wind. Uh... All right, let's see your roll. Snake eyes. Not high enough. It means I get to roll again, right? <laughs> Since that roll doubles. Not Monopoly. Go to let's go <laughs> two spaces back. Okay. As you wish. All right. You want to search that hallway for secret doors while he's there? Um. Yeah, because all I did was search for traps earlier. So he yeah, has there any secret doors in this hallway? No secret doors. Yeah. So just a friendly weather warning to anybody in that part of the country, east of Ohio, twenty-five to thirty, sustained with fifty-five to sixty gusts. I assume that's mile per hour wind. Trees down everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard of some damage out there. So, yeah, be careful. Hopefully you don't get uh, anything too bad. Seek shelter if needed. Hopefully you're not, like, wind sailing or something, hang gliding. Oh, yeah. I'm in Houston. The weather changes every five minutes. Yeah, sounds, sounds about right. Yeah, it's rough. It's rough out there. Okay, so no secret doors. So next, we've got the dwarf. Mile per hour winds. High winds. Yeah, check your local weather. All right, Jacer, what do you got for your yeah, dwarf there? Trying to... Uh oh. I'll do that again. I kept hitting the button, I was like, I won't add dice, but it was underneath the little uh, Twitch screen. Nine. No, eight. Didn't you roll a uh, six eight. and three? Oh, five and no, three. No, five and a three. Oh, I couldn't see it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I was looking at the wrong screen there. You're right. Okay. Where do you want to move is eight. Um... He's, uh, I guess he's going to have a move to the right of the scout. Okay. Okay. And... I mean, he has enough to reach the door if you want, but... Actually, have him go up one more step. One more space. Like that. Okay. 
And, yeah, I'd search for traps. Okay, there are no traps in the room. All right, so it's just that one stalactite. Yep. All right. Uh, let's go to uh, the night then. Okay. Seven. Seven. Have him move to the left of the dwarf and search for treasure. Of course, now each room can be searched by each hero once. For treasure, of course, you do have the one bonus search, which is a safe search. Okay, so searching for treasure. Wandering monster! As you're searching, a monster stalks you and attacks. All right, so since you are the knight, uh, you do get the bonus, but first he gets to attack you. And the wandering monster on this quest, mm -hmm. be right back. It's a bloodthirster with dual uh, uh, ultra machine guns. I'm kidding. Uh, let's see. Okay, so there's two polar war bears, but they actually can't get en close enough to attack you. So they're just right there. Okay. Yep. Okay. Um, on to the barbarian. Yep. Unless you want to do mercenaries. Um. No, we'll go to the barbarian. Okay. Barbarian has no objection. All right. Barbarian is still outside the room. Go ahead, roll. So, it's still 2d6, right? No, nah, Barbarian has plate mail, so it's 1d6 plus 2 because of the snowshoes. Yep. Let me update that. Yeah, 1d6 plus 2 means two squares, not two extra dice. In case that wasn't clear. <laughs> Oh, that'd be great. Oh, hey, yeah, you get two extra dice. It <laughs> makes him faster. You're like, all right, well, I want to give one snowshoe to the other guy so that we all roll three dice. <laughs> yeah. Well, I realized there was a loophole in the last quest because I didn't have you guys actually go to the door. It's like, oh, you'll have to jump over the ice again. Well, technically, you could go through the door, hand the snowshoes to the next guy, and do it like that. As long as you got enough to clear the room each time, could be done probably not how they intended it but I just realized that was possible oh if you stand at the door roll your movement dice you add the two and then before you actually move you hand off the shoes to the next yeah. guy so it's like you <laughs> steady yourself on the ice and you give it to the next guy because it's not like you're tripping and falling each move it's just the first time that you are moving in, into the room I mean otherwise you'd have to burn through like two potion two airwalk potions one guy has the snowshoes, and then two other guys use Pastor Rock, and then everybody else has to risk falling in, which for a mercenary is pretty bad. But other than that, it just would have been a slog to the door. Um, so you got three, so five, yeah. five total. Uh, it looks like the square under the the close the one closest to the main front door, um, caddy corner to the candlestick. I should be able to go in there, or is there a spot between the two that I can go to with the barb? No, that was the elf, right? The elf, or was that the barb? Shit, no, I don't even know. <laughs> I go from the door. 
So he can actually get in there. He can go. He like can actually get between two, them. Three, four. Yeah, there's no there's no spot to like get to those monsters because you can't actually get. I mean the the sorcerer's table really takes up six uh, six squares. Oh right right okay. Unless it was an uncommon feat and he's gonna like hurdle himself over. Oh yeah, there's two of them left over too. Yep. Joe Coach says, "Do you guys need more potions?" <laughs> Probably. Well, so I could a double run... quest and there's no healing. So I could run into the room, jump off the corner of the table up, and slam down on the one of those. Uh, um, yep. I'm in frozen. A... Yeah. Whoa, you, you have a potion of speed. I think I do. Let me. Know. Yeah. He Battle, does. icy strength, defense. Yeah, you've got a potion uh, of speed. Yep, two potions of speed, that double movement dice. Uh, I thought you only had one left. I, I very well could. I just still have two here, so let me change that to one. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just one. Dexterity is not the same as speed, that, but, I mean, it is five extra squares or a guaranteed pit jump. So, I mean, you could... It's it's in the, it's in the neighborhood Either of one. speed modifying stuff. They got too many body points right now. Make them sweat first, Joe. <laughs> so, Ribby's giving the, the chaotic advice. <laughs> yes, good. So, in that case, I should be able to just move into that one square between both of them, right? Since I have... Yeah, if you use a potion, yeah. Yeah. Let's do that. I'll remove well, no, the potion minute. of... Why, why are you guys saying that if he had extra movement, he could get between the monsters? He really oh, no, he can't. No. Yeah, you can't. There's no other way. It'd be an uncommon feat movement. to bypass the furniture. And I'm going to yeah. say if you want to do that, you got to roll. But if you fail, you might get burned by the candle. I'm just going to say. Yeah, I get stuck by it. You get impaled by okay, it. Okay, so if he uses the uncommon feat, he can just jump in there and doesn't have to use the potion too? Right, because he'd have enough movement to okay. get, get there. Okay, so okay, let's do that. Barbarian. Okay, so roll one white combat die. Skull. Okay, he did it. Success. So he leaps into the room. Ah! And throws himself, dodging the flames, and lands right there. So now he can launch his attack at either of the monsters. All right. So, um, um, all right. So it's five. Was it three white, two black? Uh, two white, two black. If he's using the great sword, which is his only weapon. Okay. So click on white twice, black twice. Okay, you rolled two whites, so I rolled two black. Okay, so it's two white shields, and then... Okay, so one skull overall. And which uh, monster were yep. you attacking? Uh, the one above me. Okay, so this one here. Alright. So he rolls three in response. Nothing. Wow. So one hit. Take that one damage. Just enough to take him off. Okay, so he's got five left. All right, mercenaries. You want to do your mercenaries first so they can attack and then move out of the way? Yep, exactly. All right. Okay. So, so red division. Um, the, uh, um, so we got the bright red ones, the halberd air scout, 
crossbowmen, and then the swordsman's out, out of the room. Uh, let's do... We'll do the halberdier first, I guess. Okay. There's only one monster he can hit. Go ahead, roll your three. Two skulls. Ching! And then... One hit. All right, so they're both, okay. both, both been wounded. And the scout. You want to move your halberdier now that he attacked? Oh yeah. Uh, let's move him down. Uh, can I go down the tables right there? Yeah, we can go down then. Yeah, south two spaces. Mm-hmm. Okay. Scout? Yep, scout. Two. Missed. Wow. And we'll move him out of the way as well. Where's he going? Uh, down two as well. Yeah. Or put him in that corner, that bottom corner. Isn't the table... Oh, the bottom left. Yeah, move him to the bottom left corner. Please. Because then you can put your crossbow in, in front of your halberdier and shoot. Or, I mean, he does have a clear you shot. You should be able to. No. Yeah, oh, we're okay, yeah. All right. we'll shoot him from there. Alright, roll your three. Oh, come on. Right. That's two skulls. Yeah, on the one screen it looks cockeyed, but it's not. Okay, so two skulls. Response. Ching. It's another hit. Four left. Polar war bear. Um, and then my swordsman. Let's go ahead and bring him into the room. One, two, three, four, five. Well, he just has enough to get to the doorway. Okay. Unless it's that an uncommon be... feat to. <laughs> I <don't... laughs> eh. I think I'll wait on that one. And that'll be it for mine. Um, I guess move my crossbowman next to his crossbowman. One, two, three, four. Like that, Jacer? Um, so he's like two steps in front of the um, sorcerer's table. Yes. Got a clear yep. shot. And have... And have him shoot the polar war bear. All right. All right. Roll your three white. One. Okay. Ching. It's a. Okay. Um, is it move the halberdiers in the middle? In case you're wondering, scouts on top, halberdier, and then swordsman. Uh, yes, move the swordsman in so that he's next to the polar war bear. Okay. Yeah, it looks a little weird because the uh, source table is kind of small. But uh, yeah, okay, so he's right in front. All right. 
Four dice. Four. Yep. He's throwing me all because it says four d six. <laughs> Two. Ching, and then one hit. Uh oh, there it goes. Ah, nothing. Excellent. Two Did that kill him? Or does he have one left? Three, four, five. Yeah, he's got one left. Oh. Uh, I I can't get to him with the scout. That's all the mercenaries. I, uh. Just move the scout down two spaces. That way, if you break the line, you can't block the door. Polar War Bear is going to. Yeah. Yeah. Attack the swordsman. And he's going to launch both of his attacks. At the swordsman. I guess the only other thing is if he kills him in one blow, then he can direct the other attack at somebody else. So, we'll just go with that. Alright, attacking the swordsman. Alright, two skulls. And we'll attack him again. Two more skulls. So total of four. And I got one, two, three white shields, and the three. rest one move. <laughs> you did take. Oh, you'd be dead. But um, go ahead, do your wrestling move. I'm um, dead. Oh, is he dead? Yeah. As he dies, he can do a wrestling move. Sacrifice throw. And can the dwarf yell at him now to stay alive? <laughs> Get back up. Oh, yeah. He can do a Stone Cold Steve Austin impression and everything. <laughs> He's going to pop back up. He gets up. Gets back up, and then he stuns him. Kicks him in the gut. The shocked yeah. Polar War Bear. <laughs> Grabs his head. Bam. To the ground. And that polar war bear bounces up in the air. And he's, I think he's dead. Because that should yeah, be the he last had one body point point left. That stack of skulls that he was on. Alright, let me cross off. Charisma. Charisma. Used up. That was, that was awesome. And if I had this sound alerts pulled up, it would be the, the crowd chanting, this is awesome. This is awesome. All right. I'm going to leave your other polar war bear. Yep. Okay. Undeterred by all that, he is going to choose wisely. Let's see, barbarian or knight? Or, no, sorry, Dwarf or Barbarian? Dwarf has only four defense, Barbarian's five. All right, we're going for the Dwarf. This is all white dice, right? Yep. All right. Dwarf. One skull, and we're going to roll two, four more. Three. So four total. Beat that. Ching, ching, ching. Whoa. Wrestling move. So it's one hit. Uh, but I, yeah, I took one hit. Yeah. All right. He's... <laughs> All right. It's going to be... Going through your deck of wrestling moves. <laughs> oh no no! Uh, Justin has body points. So he's down oh, to six. oh yeah yeah. He took a hit. You're right. Um. 
I'm gonna have him. Uh, you know what? What should he do? Little dwarf guy. Uh, you, you know what? Have him do the gold board spear. Just, I don't even think there's a card for it for that. But wow. have him spear him. <laughs> All right. So he just he takes his he takes his hit and then jumps right back up and <laughs> spears him. Yep. All right, spear. You hear the crowd, Goldberg. Goldberg. All right. Okay. Um. Should do one more thing here. All right. I'm gonna. Do a monster swap. So these two monsters switch places. Okay. All right, Elf. All right. Let's go ahead and roll movement. I know, I should have done something else. <laughs> Six. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I believe I should be able to go in the room and up one screen. Where that should be the six. One, two, three, four. I yes. six. Yeah, I was trying to look for an open spot with that you can shoot them with your crossbow, but yeah, there really isn't nothing. No. Not with that roll. Alright. Um I don't think I can do anything else with that one with the elf. There's still another unused uncommon feat. Do we want to use that now, though? Marty McFly. Uh, I, you know, I don't, maybe not, but I was thinking it's something. Yeah. What's the health on that one? Do we know? Five. He, yeah, your barbarian hit him the one time. Oh, no, he's down to four. four. The barbarian hit him, and he got speared. Yep. All right. Got some bots in the chat. While you guys are thinking of what you want to do. You eradicate some bots. Well, you have your normal uncommon feet too, if you want to just try that. Yeah, let's do that. Um... What's going on? Uh, I'm going to use the uncommon feat with the elf. Okay. And... That should let me slide between them. Um, man, that puts me right next to... Right next to him at an angle. At a diagonal, and that would let you use your longsword. Yeah. Okay, I, let's hope he doesn't hit back. Just yet. <laughs> All right, so you want to do that? So you're yes, gonna slide please. in and attack diagonally. Yep, diagonally. Okay, roll your one combat die. Let's 
skull. Success. Oh, nice. All right, so he whoa, slides in. Attacking with longsword. Yes. All right, roll your three white dice. All right, one skull. No defense. Right. Really fuck that. That's a hit. Okay. I'm um, and the dwarf is gonna attack him. Good goal. It's one of those skulls in your screen. Oh, it's moving in the direction of it's going to straighten itself out as a skull. <laughs> Two skulls. Okay. Well, and I see the the little square that tells me the results. The results are accurate. Because, yeah, before the right, model. The, Right. Well, the dice. Well, because the dice are on the little Twitch screen, but not on. It's layered where it's rolling on the one screen, but it's rolling underneath the Twitch screen. So I, I can't see what the dice are after I roll them anyway. The only thing I see is the little box that tells me the result. Ah, yeah, good. yeah. My dice go behind that box too. Okay. Yeah, you can in the settings. You can make the box a little less obtrusive. And the dice bigger. Yeah, you can. I just found it. Yep. Yeah, there's. Oh, be... I'm on. I'm on the mobile, so it's. Oh. oh. I, I don't have Windows. Every screen is a window. You know what I mean? So oh. the only thing I can do is put the little picture in picture mm -hmm. of the Twitch on top. Got it. So it's yeah, I can either have a quarter size screen or. About a third size screen with the Twitch. I can't. It, I can I zoom see. it in, but once I let go, it snaps back to a little tiny picture. <laughs> I, I salute you, sir, for your efforts. <laughs> You're still here. Hey, it's the, it's the, right. Well, it's that's why it's if I'm on the mic and doing this with the thing, like I can't even think about opening other stuff to text stuff. <laughs> Where before it was between the Discord. And the uh, Twitch, and then raising the Twitch to do the uh, to type stuff, and then going back and forth. So yeah, this is a nicer setup. It's easier for me to get the dice out than to switch to Discord to type in the D mm -hmm. uh, roll, and so it is quicker that way. Yeah, I like it. Nice. All right. All right. Got rid of those bots uh, while we were talking there. Okay. Okay. Right. Uh, and you did, did two is two skulls. Did you defend? No, you didn't defend yet. Not yet. Okay. Pick up dice. Sure with the, with the uh, stuff before, because when I hit the pick up dice, it picks them up off the green rolling t surface, but it doesn't pick them up off of the twitch screen, which is what I was saying before. Which is when they, they start to pile up there. So you got uh, two skulls. Yep. Dang. Four, five. Okay, he's got one left. All right, so he's still alive. Uh, Barely. Let me move the dwarf uh, back a space, or to the left of space. Uh, the knight is in his way. Okay, well, then I'll do two spaces. Okay, I assume you roll at least a two. Oh, yep, five. Oh yeah, that swordsman should still technically be at one body point. Yes. Yeah, he should be at one point. 
Okay. So you move the and dwarf then, out of the way. Yep, and then the knight. Knight. He's gonna move over one. Roll to seven. Ah, yes, he did. Okay. And then uh, he's gonna attack. So that's the two white dice and the one black dice. Oh. Oh yeah, we're saying substituting one black die for the wandering monster of the quest. Yep. Yeah. All right, one skull. <laughs> yep, that's the only one that was a skull. <laughs> Barely got it. Yeah. Ching. Oh, you defended. Okay. Uh, that's that's it. Barbarian. That's all I got. Okay. Finish <laughs> him. He started. He started it. Now finish him. <laughs> they drew first blood, sir. Let's go ahead and do an attack. So, two black, two white. Mm-hmm. Remember, you can click on each each die individually to add it. Yep. Yep. Did that. Yeah. That's more like it. Three. Getting the hang of the new system. Three skulls. Whew, that'll be a tough one to beat. Ching, ching. Oh, it just wasn't enough. Ugh. Nope. Down he goes. Big game hunter. All right, you've slain the last monster in the room. Okay, I am going to search for treasure. All right, so all the gray mercenaries up one. Yep, move them all north one space. Now get all my mercenaries done in one quick action. One, 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 and one. Okay, all the grays. All right, red team. Yep, red same team with them. Go. Okay. One, one, one. Now, the swordsman that's outside the room, what's he going to do? Uh, he needs to come in and go up. Yeah, he can't Or really... come in, because I don't think he can go up. One, two, three. Is that good? That's a yep. lot of gold. Uh, it'll be good. Yeah, that was just a fake roll, just to see if I could crash it just by rolling. See, when I look at my screen, it says disconnected. Reconnecting in one. So OBS is telling me I'm not even connected. Mm, I'm seeing uh, you with the reds right now. Yeah, I was going to say, you actually have less lag than you had before. <laughs> Weird. Well, that's... Although the last time you said your thing was going down, it went down about five seconds later on my side. Um, <laughs> so. You're just seeing a ghost image. I, The light from my star blew up billions of years ago. You're just now seeing it. <laughs> <laughs> We're just now seeing the pieces move. <laughs> yeah, seeing this last light of the supernova. Okay, well, in any case, if it's good, it's good. We'll just have to do lots of editing. Probably on right. Monday. Yeah, but okay. you don't have any anything to do? Any cards or threats? Um, or... Okay, so you guys have done all your turn. Yeah, I should just... Uh... Excellent. Okay. Elf. Um, Golden Pips of the Gods. Yeah, Ribby says um, on mobile, turn the words off um, for the D dice, DD dice in the settings. So oh, yeah. Well, if I do, if I do that, I won't be able to see the result. I won't know what the dice are. Yeah. Oh. I have to wait. Well, I have to wait till I saw them pop up on the, the Twitch screen. Then. Okay. Well, whatever works. Yeah, if, if I had to send feedback to the creator DD Dice, it'd be like, okay, <laughs> that's one of the things that's a little bit annoying. The words kind of dominate everything. Okay. Well, if there was a way for the, uh, the 
maybe uh, well the dice just to be in one area instead of being on the whole screen like sometimes I'll see one dice or two dice and then the rest of them disappear underneath um, but yeah the, the words actually are helping me out because it lets me at least know what wow. I'm rolling yeah okay yeah shout out once again to Carl Casey at White Bat Audio we're just listening to his tunes as we play alright so Elf go ahead roll your movement um, the Elf's gonna stay there Okay. Because we haven't opened that door yet, and the elf face checking it wouldn't be a good idea either. You gonna search so. for something? Mm, we've already searched for treasure. Are there any hidden doors in here then? Well, each hero gets his treasure search, though. That's, um, that's those are the basic rules. But you know what? Let's you. do it. Okay. You like those wandering monsters? I take it. <laughs> see, no matter what you do, <laughs> I'm gonna get you. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, if he's going to search, then try to roll high and put him in the corner or something where the last one just died in between the Barbarian and the Knight. So that yeah. way... Oh, okay. where, where are the Wander Monsters going to go? It'll be like here and here. <laughs> Alright, no I'll roll to go in the corner. Oh, okay. And then, yeah, that, I'll move to the top right corner and then do a search for treasure. Here's where you can really exploit the rules. Potion of warmth. Oh, I feel jug. so warm and cozy. Oh, yeah. Warm to the <laughs> touch. So, as you there know, you two lost body points from ice damage or one for anything else. It's a potion of warmth for the elf. Calm his icy exterior. That's the second potion of warmth that he's got total. We're just marking down times two. <laughs> yep, that works. Okay. Next, dwarf. Um. There we go. He's in front of the door. Yep. So I guess op open the door. All right. Door opens. Reeling everything inside. I guess technically, it's just when he steps into the room that it reveals everything. Or am I am I over analyzing it? If you just open the door and just look through, you just see what's through the doorway, what you could normally see, which is usually everything, but not always. Uh, one sec. All right, you see some monsters. Of chaos warriors. Nobody puts elf in a corner. <laughs> yeah. Dirty well, better in the dancing. corner than on a shelf. Oh, them's fighting words. <laughs> Damn elf on a shelf. Yep. Mm -hmm. I think he heard you say that. <laughs> when we were kids, said I could see us when we were sleeping and when we were awake. He didn't, he didn't need no elf to spy on us. Yeah. He's <laughs> gotten lazy and outsourced. I don't know what's creepier, but... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One way or another, you're not going to get away with being naughty. You want your Christmas presents. Yep. Okay. All right, so Dwarf, um, what are you going to do? Uh, I guess he's going to move two spaces into the, <laughs> into the room. Got him! <laughs> Got him. Thanks, Ribby. See, I don't think it ever used to play that big uh, big graphic for the sound alerts, but now it does. 
course, it was broken for quite a while. So anyway, thanks, Ruby. <laughs> oh, an upgrade to the monster. Yeah, it was to get my attention. That's why. All right. So you want to upgrade one of the monsters? Um, which one? Ruby. The Barb. <laughs> well, he is a monster, but he's a monster for good. <laughs> All right, I'll just, uh, graphic is new, that's cool. Oh, okay. All right, I'll just go ahead and upgrade one of the Chaos Warriors to an Elite. Okay, so we'll say that one is an Elite. I probably should roll for the other one. one's normal <laughs> slap his greedy little butt closest to the dwarf lagging behind stream a lot oh yeah I don't know we're having issues tonight but we roll with it okay dwarf what are you doing what's the elite does he get like an extra attack or an extra defense or an extra body point or is he like a doom guard where he gets an extra attack and an extra defense None of those. So he's going to attack with black dice, and he's going to defend with blue dice. Okay. So you're attacking him. One skill. Yep. One. With the battle axe. Okay. So I defend with four black. Or, I mean, not black blue see I don't I don't get to use them very much so I designed them a long time ago oh nothing nothing <laughs> dang okay well, I'm glad he didn't attack me with that <laughs> yeah yeah this is gonna be a a grueling quest. I'm just telling you. And the knight got five. Okay. For movement. Okay. Um. I guess moving the full five. Okay, into the room. Yep. One, two, three. Where's he going after he comes through the door? Uh, oh, two more spaces north. Dwarf. So he's right above, All right. right above the dwarf. He landed on a stalactite oh. trap. Okay. Doesn't say it ends his turn though, so he just loses a body point. Right. Down the six. <laughs> wow. No. There, he's not packed diagonally. And three skulls. Wow. Okay. All right. Against the elite. Yep. Nice roll. Ching and two hits. Alright. Excellent. Down he goes. Well, that leaves plenty of room for the barbarian and the mercenaries to start piling in and take down the other gun. I think you reduce the elf and not the knight. Um, oh, whoops. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I don't know how I got those two confused. Thank you, Ribby. Huh? <laughs> All 
Yeah, Jacer even said it right, and I wasn't paying attention. On it, boss. <laughs> Since my mistakes actually cost you guys, <laughs> it's good that you point them out. <laughs> Alright, so Ribby's getting a drink, so he can't uh, catch my mistakes anymore. Alright. So after the night... Barbarian. Uh. I guess only had two. Had to change it to one. Okay. Yep. So three plus two, five. Wow, mine's still rolling. It's a little, like lagging. It's like, um, mm -hmm. let's see. That puts me one, two, three, four, five. That would put me one square right in the doorway, right? Two, three, four, five. Yep. Inside the room. Okay. And. Didn't I already use my potion of speed? Nope. You talked about it and you didn't, no. you didn't do it. No, you used oh, the okay. unconscious feet and jumped on jumped over the corner of the table. Yep. I don't know if I want to waste it just yet. We well, have the potion of dexterity that gives you five spaces. Yeah, I was just looking at that. I'll go ahead and use up that one. Dexterity. Again, move five, and then, five more squares. Yep, so I'll go right one, up two, right one. So basically it puts me right above them. So you've got um, five more spaces. You can jump in that northern that corner, corner right? and attack yeah. diagonally. Yep, let's do that. Yeah, be sure you put all your weight on that square. Just telling you. Oh, uh, <laughs> Okay. Oh, crap, that's right. You're fine. <laughs> Just saying. Yeah, I think the knight already took the trap for this room. <laughs> <laughs> that you know of. Okay. That I know of. Right. Well, the dwarf took the... Or the uh, mercenary took the first trap in, on the first doorway, so... I mean, the the blind trap jumping mechanic is in place. I mean, if you're suspicious about a square, including on the other side of a door, you can jump. <laughs> you got to roll for it. But if you guys don't remember to do it, it's not going to help you. Just throwing that out there. You can also try to jump two squares, but you're going to have to roll a white shield to do it successfully. Yep. All right. All that said, so you're attacking? Oh, yeah. All right. Two black, two white. Survey says. Not. Uh, it's two, uh, two skulls. Oof. Two hits. Mercenaries. Whose mercenaries are moving? Yep. The, the scout was moving uh, next to my barbarian to the left. Okay, so red. Yes. Five, six, seven, with the scout. Right there. So next to the barbarian and above the chaos warrior. Yes. Uh huh. Okay. Yep. Yeah. And then we'll attack. Sure, go for it. Two dice. Yeah, I was waiting for it to respond to me. There we go. Two skulls. Nice hit. Okay. Ah, oh, no defense. 
Got him. Nice. All right, you cleared the room. Um, here, we move my scout into that room and search for traps. Oh, interesting. Okay. This sure. way before we fill every every space. <laughs> yeah, I'll allow it. Sure, why not? Okay, one, two. All right, no traps in the room. Okay, you move the rest. rest move the rest of red team. <laughs> All right. Yep. All right. What do you got? Onyxius. Yep, just move my guys in there as well. Just... So, yeah. crossbow uh, inside Thorsman the door. Yeah, let's move this Thorsman first. That yeah. way he can get five spaces. One, two, three, four. Yeah, he can just make it to the door anyway. Um, Halberd Air... One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, he can't make it in there any either. Only the crossbowman could make it in. All right, Jay, sir, your mercenaries. Um, your other three. Yeah, move the uh, just do the same thing. Try to move him in that room. Swordsman, get them all in there. One, yes. two, three, four. And then put the uh, Clothman in there as close to the door as you can get him. And the Halberdier. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. You got all yours in. Okay. Okay. Yep. And that brings it back to you. Zargon's turn, huh? All right. Very well. Darn it. <laughs> yeah, I should have done the other thing the other time. Okay. All right, let's swap these two monsters. No, we'll swap these two monsters. Okay. All right, that's Zargon's turn. All right, Elf. Let me roll. Seven. That'll put me between my scout and I think that's the dwarf up there under the door. Five, six, seven. You want to be below your scout or to the left of him? To the left of him. Okay, and... Uh, I think we only searched treasure, right? We didn't search any hidden doors. And we didn't search anything in this room yet because we just got done killing the uh, yeah. chaos warrior. Okay. So I will search for treasure then. Okay. Let me re reiterate every hero can search every room for treasure once. That's not my rule. That's uh, default, but I mean, whatever you choose to do. <laughs> okay. So who's searching? The elf. The elf. Oh, okay. With his back to the wall. Jewels. Ready. 
You find a small wooden box, it is plain and old, but within it is lined with velvet and contains 50 gold coins worth of jewels. So 50 gold for the elf. Nice. All right, dwarf. Treasure, treasure. Treasure. A lot of good it's going to do you at this point, but I mean, you still got potions, right? You can always send a runner back to town, maybe. Maybe. Potion of speed. So your standard at twice as many dice for movement. That's for the dwarf. Potion of speed. Is he the one that, that's in front of the door? Uh, no, actually, he's in the middle. The knight is at okay. the top. Scout's at the bottom. Dwarf is in the middle. All right, then I'm going to have the... I'm going to have him stay there, then, and have the knight go. And the knight... He's going to search for treasure. Potion of Healing, 1d6 for the night. Is that a second? Um, yes, yes it is. Okay. Times two. Yep, just wrote that down. All right, and then, uh, let's see. Roll for movement, 11. Uh, open the door to the northern hallway. Okay. You gonna step through? Alright, you open yeah. the door. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna step through. All right. So you see to the end of the corridor, you can't really see anything at this point. All right. Um I have a move. Uh No, yeah, he's going to stay there. I'll let the scout come and search for crap. <laughs> All right, Barbarian. Okay. You're just in the upper corner there. Yeah, man, it's, I double-clicked it like a moron. Well, three plus three two. Plus for three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, lucky for you. All right. Necessarily rolling, three yard penalty, first down. It's like, what? <laughs> Do you want me to re roll or just use no, one no. of the threes? I'll just use one of the three. It's, it's fine. So you get five right. total. Where are you going? Um, let's go out the door. Uh, should be right there. So that's one, two, three, four. Left or right? Out the door into the right one. Okay. And then I want to search for trap. Okay. You get uh, an icy chill up your spine, but you don't detect any traps. All right. Mercenaries. Uh, let's take... Red team. Take the scout and move it out to the left, and then I want to search for um, hidden doors. In this corridor to the north, or the southern corridor? To the north one. Okay. To the right of the barbarian. No secret doors. Oh, I forgot to put one thing out. 
you do see i know it's funny because it's like i'm thinking doors no it's an it's just a regular door i should have put a door here this red room the first time you stepped out sorry about that there it is and sure you can see we'll say you can see the edge of the wall too because you're just that eagle-eyed mm -hmm. i guess there's some debate whether or not you really should be able to see that but i'm going to say that you can I didn't spend eight years in scouting school to be blind. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Your last two heroes didn't see that door, but that scout did. <laughs> yep. He was prepared. Okay. All right. All right, what's what's next? Uh, the other two, the three. Well, that oh yeah. yeah, you got crossbowmen in the in the parquet room, and then in the blue purple room, you've got halberdier and swordsman. Uh, can we move them in and to the right, or if not, we'll just wait. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. And that'll be it for me. Two, three, four. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. So the halberd air should be in the doorway, or should the crossbowman go for that? Because you can move him to the side. Yeah, the crossbowman. Is that right? Yeah, that'd be fine. Okay. All right. Great team. Guess the scout have him have uh, move the gray scout nine uh, out the door and to the to the right by the power of gray scout. I have the power. Okay. All right, and then um, we'll say he can see a little bit further, and he knows that uh, there's a stone wall at the end. Just on the edge there. Okay. Um, I guess move the rest of them as far as they can to get the closest they can to the Grey Scout. Okay. All right, Swordsman, one, two, three, four. four. Well, he can't, the Swordsman can't get very far. He can get to the top, no, the top of the room. It's just short. Okay, let's see, Crossbowman. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll be there, one, two, three, four, Just in the corner there. Alright. Zargon's turn. Yep. Very well. Alright. Fine. This one's a little bit iffy, but... Raise the dead. So I get to take a monster that died previously and bring it back. Ooh, nice. Uh, or no, it wouldn't be that one. It would be the Chaos Warrior. Uh. <laughs> oh man, I'm going to say it's the Elite one too. Just because I can. Alright, he's back. And I might as well have him attack somebody. Yep. The elite one would have been right there underneath the elf. <laughs> <laughs> I 
underneath his feet. Oh, and like push him away. Well, now that's an idea. Yeah, because it is supposed to be in the spot. I guess we do have that mechanic established. Sure, why not? Fine. He just shoves him out of the way. He like comes out of the ground. And, oh, but it's like, should I attack? Sure, why not? I'll attack the elf. It's the same as the swordsman. All right. Yeah, five defense. Yeah, I think the only one that's less is the the dwarf. Four skulls, elf. All right, five white, right? Yep. Come on, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Ching. Okay, so oh, it's like two of them. So close to wrestling move. Took two hits. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's still rolling on my screen. <laughs> Is it still rolling? Yeah, I think it's me, though. I haven't rebooted my computer in like a week. So. And what is it with you guys? I thought I was bad. Nope, I don't hardly ever reboot my computer unless I have to. All these tabs open. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess I, I don't blame you too much. But you come from the old school. Well, maybe you do. It's just like, oh, great. I don't have to reboot so often. Isn't that nice? Yep. Every time you restart your computer or reboot your computer, it takes a year off the computer's life. <laughs> mm hmm. <laughs> it makes the next version of Windows come out like six months faster. <laughs> yep. Remember when Windows what happens? You restarted your computer so many times, you now we're stuck with Windows 95. <laughs> you went back yeah. in time. They said I don't need as much RAM to run it. it just crashes a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So, um, did that? I guess that's it for me. Elf. I will attack. Um, for health. Mm. Yep. The elf has how much health total? Four, four. body, four body he, points. He took. Yeah, he took two damage. Okay, so six overall then, right? Yes. Alright, well then I'll just go ahead and roll attack with the long sword. Okay. Which is two white. Three. Long sword is three. Two skulls. Oops. Cha -cha ching Put move. Yep. Joke slam. You lift the elf into the air. To the ground. You have a sickening thud. And that's one body point. Down to three. Okay. Dwarf. Oh, unless you want to move, I guess you can. It's up to you. Onyxius. Um. Uh, let's see. The swordsman can attack, right? 
Yeah. Should be you next to him. Just, yeah, you, you can definitely move the elf out of the way. And I probably should. Let's, uh... Well, I can't move the elf until next round, right? Well, um, he just got shoved out of the way by the monster. Yeah, you can move him. Because you attacked. That was your action, but you didn't move. Okay, so let's just go... We'll go down. Um, I guess I have to roll. That would help. <laughs> I mean, if you're only going to move one square, I guess it doesn't matter, but it's up to you. I'm sure yeah, you uh, just one. out of the way. Yeah, we'll go ahead and move down one then. Okay. What were you saying about the swordsman? Uh, the swordsman is going to attack. Except uh, the swordsman, that's the gray swordsman that you're looking at there. So that's actually Jason. Oh, that's his. Yeah. All right. If you guys want to. So I don't should know. be able. To... My swordsman is on the right, correct? Your swordsman's on the on the edge of the room, right below the hal. It's like halberdier first, then swordsman, then blank space. Because Anixius, you've got the red. Yes. Jacer's got the gray. So okay, so then I just need to go. Here and here. So I need to move left two. Yes. Now we could hit him. Yeah, let me roll. Do you move all your mercenaries now? What's that? Are you going to move all your mercenaries now? Yeah, I mean, I'll move them and attack, or attack and move to make room. Think I should wait on moving them, or? These guys are up here. Um, well, I don't mind uh, if you want to move all yours now. It'll save your barb or your. It'll save your barbarian from having to backtrack in case like the dwarf doesn't kill him or anything else. Yeah. All right. So let's. We'll have the uh, swordsman attack. Um, two white. Um, uh, four white. Yep. You need to write that down. Yeah, because he's four and five. He's pretty strong. Yeah, that's why it costs 100 gold. <laughs> yep, two skulls. Okay. Cha-ching! Oh, I can see that much better now that you made that bigger. Alright, good. Yep, okay, so I defended everything. Yeah, when everybody's in the same place, I don't necessarily need to have the uh, all the extra windows. Just keep track of the body points over there. I guess I could copy and paste all that into both windows. But would it not be both windows? I don't know. Your albedir can now attack and move. Yeah, because the scout's outside the room. So let's attack with the halberdier. Okay. Three. Skulls, okay. Gee, and then one hit. And then the halberdier will move uh, to. Uh, I guess I'll just move down. Protect the elf. <laughs> Glad there's no attack of opportunities. Is that a D and D thing? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, if anytime you're 
within a square of an enemy. If you move away from that square, the enemy gets a oh. free attack. Isn't didn't they put that in Dragon Strike? That sounds really familiar. I don't know about that. Or maybe I'm thinking of no. something. There was some game where it, unless I was reading the D and D, I I really don't know much about D and D, but I might have read that when I was reading like the the whole OGL thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's part of Dungeons Dragons, and Warhammer has like a pinning where you can't, or oh, it either yeah. takes your whole action to move away, or all of your movement, or see. one of your movements die. Some yep, yeah, and some Pathfinder. Games. Some games have it. Yeah, well, see, I was looking at the Pathfinder rules as well. And with Warhammer, I was looking at uh, 40k Fireteam rules. And I might have seen it there. So, yeah, it's, I guess it's it's in a lot of games. But not HeroQuest. I mean, I'm sure it's people that have homebrewed it. People have homebrewed everything into HeroQuest. At some point or another. Yeah, it definitely makes you think about movement. Mm-hmm. You can retreat, but you might get a knife in the back as you go. Yep. All right, tackle, tackle and... Ronan Blood Bowl, says Joe Kosher. <laughs> Speaking of that, he just redeemed a potion. Okay. Looks like we need a blitz. Okay, that's two. Two potions, all right. Did I forget to give the elf his bonus potion to start? Uh, I don't remember getting yeah. that. Bonus. Did ah, okay, so he gets three. I, I'm i sorry. Follow my own rule. Okay, so Potion of Magic Resistance, that's one. Oh, he did four of them. So, Joe, uh, do you care who they go to, or are you giving one to each? Huge hero. Potion for each hero. Players choose. Potion of Battle. That's a reroll. Heroic Brew. That's two attacks, of course. Potion of Vision. Okay, that's for the elf. See, so that should be the one for the elf. He gets to see all secret doors and regular traps within his line of sight until he suffers a body point of damage. So that's Potion of Vision for the elf. And then we'll do right. one more for our four from Joe. Thanks, Joe. Potion of Speed. Yeah, thanks. Okay, so we got Speed, Heroic Brew, Potion of Battle, Magic Resistance. Who wants what? I guess you get to take two. Um, <laughs> and a threat card for Zargon. Thank you. Uh, for give forgetting. the heroic brew to either the barbarian or the dwarf because they both roll four combat dice. I'm looking at my potions. I don't. I've got a potion of battle. Um, but not the potion um, of heroic brew. Yeah, so then give that to the barbarian. All right, because he's because they both got four dice, but um, the barbarian can attack diagonal, so okay. give him the heroic brew. So barbarian gets heroic brew. Okay. Um. um. What was the other one? Battle. Resistance, battle, and speed. Okay, thanks, Joe. I appreciate your sticking around and playing, and thanks for participating. You have a good day. Have a good night. Yeah, have a good night, Joe. All right, what were we guys saying? So, Potion of Vision for the Elf. Yeah. Heroic Brew for the Barb. Yep. That leaves Resistance, battle, and speed. Uh, give this, uh, give the speed to the knight, I guess, and the battle to the dwarf, and yep, the resistance, is it, was it resistance? Yes, uh uh-huh. Resistance, yeah. Give that to the elf. Is that the damage or the effect? The effect, so it's the most powerful one. Okay. Who does it go to? The elf. Elf, okay. So 
So he's got two of those now. To affect magic resistance. Alright. Who got the speed again? Barbarian? Or no, not Barbarian. No. No, the knight. The, the knight. The knight, okay. And the battle to the dwarf. Okay. Alright. Got it. Oh, and a bonus treasure search. So now you got two of those. To save treasure searches. Okay. Alright. Uh, so... Uh, with the crossbowman? Yeah, what's the crossbowman gonna do? I'm trying to do a bonus treasure search for all heroes, but I'm on cooldown. Ah, that's okay. We know what you meant, Joe. Don't, uh, don't be tired on our account. I did put the cooldowns back in because it was getting a little crazy last time. Not that I don't enjoy it, but it was just like crazy. Because I know some people have saved up a lot of gold doing a lot of lurking. And subbing. I think I removed the limits at one point because like nobody could redeem anything. For some reason it was interpreting any limit as like zero. Like, I could remove the limits for Zargon stuff. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Let's try to keep it interesting. Alright. So, is the crossbowman going to do anything? Anixius? He move into a shooting position? Um, sorry, my son just came in here. Oh, okay. Dad duty. Yeah, um, so the scout's outside, the crossbowman, uh, yeah, the crossbowman was going to attack. Just with his broadsword, or, I guess? Uh, mm, yeah. Okay, roll your three. Um, okay. Okay, one skull. Ching. It's a deflection. Okay, and then I'm going to move two spaces to the right. You mean down? One down and two to the right? Uh, one down, three to the right. We're just, then. We're just moved. Yeah, okay. okay. I want to try to stay in, ra in range. That way, if I have to use the ranged weapon, I can use the range. Well, right now you're not in range, because I'm not, I'm not following the Avalon Hill. You can hit diagonally with the crossbow. I'm interpreting it as the eight squares around you, you can't shoot. You've got a... Oh, okay. One. So if you did want to do that, you'd want to move here. To the wall. Is that what you want to do? Yeah, that's what I wanted to do, was move far enough out where I can't be attacked unless he moves... But he's got too many guys around him. Yeah, because he can't move diagonally. Uncommon feet. Okay. All right. And then the scout, I'm just going to leave out there. We'll pass. I'll move the, move, let me move the scout by the other, by the gray scout. That way there, there's a little more room for us to maneuver. Oh, move him out the other down, way, right? Down the hallway, yeah. Out, right. yeah. That way, if you, we can get somebody in or out of the doorway, we can without a big. Gotcha. Six. All right. Yeah, we'll do that. Is that cool, or you want him on the other side? No, that's cool. Out of the way is good. All right. Halberdier. Uh, his halberdier already went. Oh, that's right. My bad. Okay. Yep, mine's done. 
Okay. All right. So you moved all your mercenaries, and so now it's the um, next hero. The dwarf. dwarf. Yeah. yeah. Um. Is the dwarf going to move up one and attack with the battle axe? Four dice. Yep. Oh, three gold. Oops. I saw it. I don't know why I had that turned off. Okay. Three skulls. Aha. Oh, wow. Right Four black wave. field. Yep. All right, RKO. <laughs> Bam. All right, so that's one less for the dwarf. He should be down to five. Yep, down to five. gonna test it and see if it actually goes to the, the big window hmm. let's see if I change it over here Uh, it doesn't update. Oh, that's that's annoying. Uh, I got four movements for the night. Okay. Um, it's moved him south of the dwarf and attack the chaos warrior diagonally okay good with your attack two skull nice Ching. Yeah, see, when they roll like heroes, they're a little bit harder to kill, aren't they? Yep. That's an elite. All right. Uh, Thorsman. Okay. Swordsman's right next to him. Four. And two skulls. Oh, you're right. Yep. That one's slowly falling into place on the, the big camera. Oh, yeah. That's so weird. It's like, come on. No. Oh, no. Falling. <laughs> <laughs> Just like more suspenseful that way. Okay. Two well, more can teaser die. Yep. and hit. Okay. He's got one left. Alright, the... I guess the halberdier down one and left one and attack diagonally. Alright. One skull. One skull. Ching. One black shield. Um. I guess uh, move the crossroom in. One, two, three, 
four spaces to the right. Okay. Uh, that's up to the barbarian. Try to chop him through the doorway. Alright, Nixius. Okay, uh it is the barb, right? Or is it the elf? Barbarian. The barbarian. Alright. Yeah, last guy. Remove him. Uh he's outside the door. Let me roll move him in. Oh yeah, is it I don't know if it's one or two spaces to the door. Oh either way you got the snow the snowshoes. So you, you can hopefully kill him. Yeah, it's it's one square to the door. Okay. Okay. So you got eight. Alright, you're in the doorway. And then I'll attack diagonally. Okay. Go Molly, go. Uh, let's see. Black and white. Yep. Two black, two white. I hit it. I'm waiting for it to show up. Ah. Two skulls. Oh. Ooh. Three black shields. Um, can I use? Yes. <laughs> uh, I'm looking. I'm looking. Uh, potion of battle. Reroll if you don't like the. Sure. sure. Okay. So you reroll re your two black and two white. So instead of two skulls, you're gonna see what you get instead. One, two, three. It's a better roll. I still block yeah. it. Okay. <laughs> so, Potion of Battle is... Gone. Wait a minute. Who's got Potion of Battle? Does a Barbarian... I went to the... Yeah, that was the dwarf that had the Potion of Battle. Oh, sorry. So, actually, I shouldn't have allowed that. Well, that's okay. Um... Oh, I have it that the uh, that the barb had the potion of battle from last time. Yeah, and the elf has vision resistance, uh, two potion of warmth, and the long sword. So you wrote down potion of battle. Well, we were talking about it. So they had it from a uh, no, previous game. It might have got used up. I think it got okay. used up. Okay, I'll uh, remove it. Sorry. All good. Yeah. So, in that case, it was all imaginary. You know, when the uh, the hero, like, phases out his mind and he thinks about what he's going to do? Yeah. He imagines he it. Too, and, and then he got uh, three oh, the black shields out. rolled against him and... <laughs> Get, gets a wrestling move because he wasn't paying attention. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Gives him the the uh, chaos warrior. Gives him the atomic drop through the doorway. Clonk. <sighs> Somehow it works. Trust me. All right. So the barbarian is one less down to nine. Finally, finally takes uh takes a hit. Back to single digits like the other mortals. All right.
Okay. Is Barbarian going to move? Well, I guess he moved already. Sorry. He moved yeah, he already moved. Position. Okay. All right. Um, my turn, right? Yes. All right. I'm going to just take out that pesky crossbowman. All right. So four black dice. Two skulls. Wait, what crossbowman? Or not crossbowman. Sorry. Swordsman. This guy. Okay. <laughs> that pesky crossbowman. It's like he said it. <laughs> the guy <laughs> dies of a heart attack I'm, somewhere. I'm like, I'm like, wait a second. Didn't he move way out of the way so that you Tell couldn't attack him? <laughs> he does scorpion spear down the hallway and like pulls him in. <laughs> and then socks him right in the face. No, no. Sorry. I meant to say swordsman. The guy next to him. All right, so I rolled two skulls. That's that's uh, yours, Jacer. Yeah. Uh, hold up, four, five. Five. All right. Ooh, okay. Killed him. Ching. Four white shield. Yep. <laughs> All right. What? What? Nice. What move? Oh, he's definitely doing the tombstone. That's four white skulls. <laughs> tombstone right through the ground. Bam. Alright. Tombstone pile driver. Dong. It was so amazing the barbarian tripped and fell down the stairs, but he's okay. He meant to do that. <laughs> the imaginary stairs. Oh, he's still living in his head again? Everybody's <laughs> tripping out today. It's the PTSD from the last quest. Sorry to any actual PTSD sufferers out there. Uh -huh. Right. Okay. Well, that's the end of that Chaos Warrior. All right. Top of the order, then. Yep. Elf. All right. The elf... Um... Let's go roll our movement okay come on three yeah <laughs> Ooh, I, I guess move up two spaces can't go anywhere else. No. Can't quite leave the room yet. Hmm. All right. Dwarf got nine. Which one's next? Nine. The, the dwarf. I got nine. Uh, move him as close to the the scouts as he can get. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. If he goes on the other side, he'll be on the other side of the crossbowman. Yeah, alright, move him all nine. the pack and the knight got an eight okay. uh, to move him up as close as he can get Two, three. so right right next to the yeah okay and barbarian Barbarian. Rolling to yep. move. Yeah, when we're not getting disconnected every other second, uh, these dice are awesome. <laughs> Great job, Ruben. Yeah, 
I need to reboot. I like this better than the Discord one. Mentorbot. Yeah. Well, and he even put the Space Crusade dice in there. So it it took us a little bit to figure out how to how to set everything up. And especially if you don't have an account, okay, it's a little bit of a hassle each time. But once you get yeah, it going... If you're... If you're going to play, I would suggest getting the account because at least yeah. all your dice are loaded up when you log on. Right. Instead yep. of having to set up all the dice again. Probably the least intrusive way is with Discord. I mean, the only thing Discord has is my phone number. Um, whereas, yeah, my Twitch, I mean, there's more data, metadata on there that they could steal, I guess, in theory. Uh, or Google. It's a shame that they force you to use one of those services as opposed to just, uh, just use your email, just or, email or just create your own account for that. But Does Discord make you use a phone number or do they allow you to do an email? I mean, it's been a long time since I signed up. I put my mobile number. Right. Okay. I mean, you can read it. It rolled, right? Did my roll go through? Because it never no. showed up, even yeah, though try, I did. Try, try it again. There, I heard the sound. Okay. Six. Yep. Six. So eight. Eight. Oh, that would put me right on top of the dwarf. Well, I guess I'll go to the end of the line. Hey, laddie. Start the conga line. One, two, three. How do you get mm -hmm. to the top of the seat? Push yourself to the front. <laughs> well, the sound of animations. It almost sounds like a, like um, a cartoon gun, like, ch -ch -ch, loading. Didn't I use them all? I guess, no? You can use uncommon feats. I mean, in theory, I'll let you use one per turn. Okay, well then, let's do that. I mean, you were given extra ones, so in theory, you could have used, like, three in one turn, I suppose. Which people have done in the past, and we were like, ah, you know what, let's just put a limit on this. <laughs> okay, so, alright, roll your one combat die to see if you leap yep. to the head of the line. Wait for it to uh, do its thing. What extra space? Success! Alright, so they crowd surf him. <laughs> <laughs> to the t front of the line. Over the, over the dwarf to go one extra space. Oh, and it just so happened he landed on a wandering monster trap. So. Oh. Oh. <sighs> Better him than us. <laughs> so two polar warp. There was a what he said there, the, like you felt an icy chill. I was thinking of the stupid slippery ice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. So, um. Well, and people always ask, well, can I just, can't just use a potion of warmth? Will that protect me from, like, all the monsters in this quest? Because <laughs> they're all icy. No. <laughs> it's not how it works. Okay, so the first polar war bear is going to attack. Wait. Um, does that... Um, does that feat use an action? Oh, because he just moved? Yeah. No. Okay, so I can... Do I am I able to attack well, first? No, we get to attack you first. But I mean, you could attack because okay, it was a surprise, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, and the wandering monster trap has oh. been one of those things that people have like scrutinized, and it's like, okay, so technically it's supposed to end your movement. I originally thought it didn't, but it says in the rules you can respond with an action if you still have one left. So. You could attack right after you attack them versus normally when you get a wandering monster is when you search for treasure and you just can't do anything afterwards. Okay. So, so yeah, you can attack after they attack. Of course, only the one. Or at least only one of them can attack. Yeah. All right. And it's going to aim both its attacks at you. So we'll just do. Oh, I've always wanted to do this. <laughs> okay, so that's four. Four skulls. Go ahead, roll your defense. Uh, the two black... Oh, that's the damage. Defense, yeah. So it's just uh, five defense. Five white. 
And if I... Do I still have footwork? Roll two extra defend dice until end nope. of turn? Nope. Right, let me remove that. What about arm band of ice? I still have that. Yeah. So your skills are your your combat cards, your dodge and trip, and your mighty blow. So any other ones that you had are, are gone. You can use the dodge and trip and have them fall down and lose his next turn. Mm. Because he's going next anyway. So that way he leaves that monster in the way so the other one can't attack nobody either. Oh, okay. He's got a point. Dodge and trip. Yep, I'll use dodge and trip. Okay. All right, so that attack just just did nothing. And he lunged forward to attack you and fell flat what? on his face. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, and the other monster can't switch places with him. See, there's where the switching places would have actually been useful. Yeah, and I, I, anybody that watches the replay is going to be like, well, why didn't I swap one of the monsters from the final room into the, into the main area? But, oh well. That's Sargon for you. All right, that's the 10 minute warning. I know we got started late, guys. Well, I thought you were going to do. I thought you were going to switch him with the wounded one. Yeah, but that means the <laughs> final battle would have less action, so I guess I kind of decided against it. But it would have been like, yeah, just flexing my muscles a little bit. Okay. Yeah, it, would have, it was only one wound at that time anyway. Yeah. But it wasn't a big jump. No. Okay. Well, I suppose I could have healed him or something. I don't know. Anyway, missed opportunity. So all your Zargons out there, Monday morning quarterback. This is how you do it. Okay. Uh, all right. So I did. I did that. And you're gonna. Are you gonna try to attack? Yeah. Okay. Do right. we know the health of the six. bears? Six. I'm trying to decide if I want to use. I still have mighty blow, or do I not have that? Yeah. Uh, yeah, mighty blow, and you also have heroic brew if you want to attack them twice. Um. Let me see. Yep. Potion of heroic brew. Um, I'll use Heroic Brew. Instead of... Okay. And the Mighty Blow, I think you roll... Do that, you roll that after you roll your attack? After rolling... It? Okay. After rolling your attack dice, multiply by two the final die results and apply them to your opponent. How about this? It's up to you, but I will let you combine this with Heroic Brew. So you do two attacks and then double it. Mm, would that be a waste of the mighty blow, though? It's your call, man. He has six body points. And you're yeah. rolling four dice. All right, let's do it. So heroic brew, mighty blow, I'm removing those. Okay. All right, so you're rolling eight dice. So four black, four white. I'm waiting for it to catch up. <laughs> I hit roll. Yep, I see it. Five, five, five souls. Doubled. Ten. Dang. Okay. And he only gets three defend dice, so you hit him for seven at least. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Jing. Okay, he took six. That was pathetic. <laughs> you just annihilated them. Mighty blow indeed. So Ribby's saying uh, that would be, what would be cool is if they open up the activities thing in Discord and let you do a dice roller in there so you wouldn't need to do a third-party website. Well, the thing is, I think someone just needs to write a dice roller for OBS. And I think they do exist, but they're just D6s and D20s. They're not, like, customized. 
to look like HeroQuest, unless they're open source, in which case you could put in your own thing there. I've never tried to use them because they weren't HeroQuest dice. Open up the S SDK for the activities module in Discord, that is. Oh, yeah, I, I don't know the extent of all that stuff. I mean, it's interesting to think about. If anybody, Hey, I'm always open to suggestions, so if somebody has a way to do it that isn't going to break the bank or be really annoying, <laughs> I'll be willing to try it. So you can always message me in the Discord if you got an idea. I mean, all the stuff Ruby's been able to do is pretty awesome, so if you come up with an even better way, I'd be happy to test it out. Okay. It's not tabletop simulator. Right. <laughs> it's not tabletop simulator. I mean, ta if tabletop simulator was free and it wasn't like a thing that I had to run in the background and had the high learning curve, I'd say sure. But yeah, it's like each person that joins, we're going to have to teach them how to use it and all that stuff. And yeah, there's that whole other discord where that's, they do nothing, but most, I think most of our players don't use it, uh, for hero quest. So I mean, it could be wrong. There's a few probably. And I don't mind playing those people. It's just that, yeah, it kind of limits who can who can do it. Like Jacer, he can't do it on his mobile. No, I can view it through. I can view it on the Steam you just, app. You can just tell us what to but do, I, and we can move it. But I mean, it's like, yeah, the right. whole point of doing tabletop simulator is that oh, you can reach in with your right uh, mouse and like click on the dice yourself. The idea, rather than waiting for me to do it for you, which I don't mind doing, but mm -hmm. you know, everybody's got their preference. Ideally, we'd all be just sitting at a big table playing, but since we can't do that, we're doing this. <laughs> Next best thing. Okay. All right. So after the barbarian comes me. Right? Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I guess it didn't matter that he lost a turn, but... Because he died. Yeah, because he died. But at least you got rid of him, right? So one less monster to deal with. Okay, so he's going to attack. He's going to do two attacks. So I eat dice. Ooh, that's a lot of skulls. Four, five. Wow. Five skulls, barbarian. You've got five defend um, dice. Um, I should probably use the potion of defense plus two for one defense. Okay. Yeah. Since you're rolling that high. Alright, so you roll seven. Five. You gotta beat five skulls. Come on. You can do it. No whammies, no whammies. I hit roll. You gotta beat five. Okay, you defeated one. Ching! So you take four damage. Too bad. So you're down to five body points. Told you this one was brutal. Um. Yeah? I was just thinking about the... One healing, one d6, and then an, oh, that's the only one that I show that I have for healing. I see you have two one d6s. Okay, I'll update mine. Well, unless I use it now. Uh, or is that you, an action? Using a potion is no, not an action. No, it's an action, but you're, you're only down... What are you, five life, right? Five out of ten. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well then, I'll just oh wait, go ahead. Yeah, at least uh, at least wait till you're down one more damage in case you roll a six. All right, so Ribby says I looked at the fact for it. Discord said they currently have no plans to open the development kit for activities to the public yet. Aw, oh, darn. Okay, so yeah, yeah, because I can share the window, but it's not like a transparent overlay of the of the icons. Well, in any case. Back to the battle. All right, Zargon's turn. One second here. All right, right? Yeah, yeah. 
I, I did my attack, so and and movement, so uh, elf. Um, we'll just roll to go out there. All right. This is going to be the last round, by the way. I know. The Frozen Horror has long quests. I rolled. I'm just waiting for it to update. Nine. Okay. I'll just go out the room and make my way up the conga line. Two, three, four, leave, five. Leave a, leave a space. I think I have to. I don't think I have enough to go all the way. No, I mean leave a space so that the dwarf can move out of there. So that when your barbarian attacks, the crossbowmen can at least shoot them. And the mercenaries can try to take down the, the uh, fuller war bear. If you leave the space, then I only have to roll a five. All right. Well, let's go back then. One space. All right. That's time, but we'll uh, we'll finish the round. And we'll pick it up. Well, actually, I think, yeah, I'm going to be going on vacation, so it might be a couple of weeks before we get back. But this has been a lot of fun, guys, and thanks for hanging along, even though we had all the issues at the beginning. No, fine with me. Okay. So it's a six for the dwarf. Yep. Yep. So move him to the left. In between the L. Ah, I see what you're doing there. And whoever, yeah. Between the el elf and the knight. Yeah. Um, the knight's going to stay there, too. Okay. I don't think there's any. Any, any spot for him to go. And then that would let the Barbarian go. Alright, Barbarian. And then you move the Mercenaries, and then we'll be uh, done for this week. Good grief. Two black, two white. Waiting on the roll to finish. I'm gonna refresh Why? my screen. Well, I think it's because of Chrome. I closed out a bunch of them. Yeah. Well, you got a week. You got a couple weeks to restart your computer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nice. Okay. So two skulls. All right. I'll roll my defense. I gotta beat two skulls. Two hits. Two hits for the bad guy. So your strategy was you were going to hit and run? Mine? Um, I can't go th through him. Correct. I think that was. Uh, yeah, you can't go through the monster. You're gonna have to uh, roll high and probably use a dexterity potion or a speed potion. Yeah, he doesn't have dexterity anymore, but he does have speed. <laughs> oh. So what? Backtrack back towards the door then? Yeah. Alright, I'll do that. You said I've got speed? Yep. I'm gonna... So that would let you roll two red dice. Alright. Can I substitute the blue for that? Oh, wait, actually... Any D6 with pips will do. <laughs> but two red and one regular. 
No, 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 wait, 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 wait. It says twice as many dice. So normally you'd roll one. This would make it roll two and then still plus two squares. Right? Sure? Yep. Love it. Yep. So you can't move Can all you? the way. You're going to have to try to do an uncommon feat again. Yeah, let me roll for that. Not to be... Uh, oh, you. you failed the crowd surf. Failed. But, but wait a minute, <laughs> why are you doing all this if you're just trying to... Oh, you don't want to put the crossbowman in arms away, is that it? No, I was going to shoot with the crossbow and then have the crossbowman try to go six spaces. But it's still not... Even if the barbarian crowd surfs, then the, the crossbowman's stuck. <laughs> So, All right. that's so, fine. I guess, do you want to move the Barbarian back one square, or just keep him where he's at? I, I'll keep him where he's at. I don't think moving back a square is going to make a difference. Alright, so cross off the speed potion. Uh, well, I you can move him back one, because then the crosswoman can just jump up there and attack for three, and... Get himself killed. He might die, and he might die instead of the Barbarian taking another three, four, five... Six Eight damage. Hits. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, move back one then. His job. Doing his job. All right. Well, <laughs> you tried. You tried everything. <laughs> Strategic. But yeah, my thought was that he would get a shot, move back six, then the scouts could move back, and then he would have to charge the knight. Was the uh, the thinking on it? I already used my potion of defense, didn't I? Yeah. Yep. I crossed it off. Yeah, so he's got uh, holy water, two 1d6 healings, magic resistance, mm -hmm. and his fire lance scroll. And a toolkit still, or no? Yep, still got the toolkit. Yep, toolkit, helmet, snowshoes, amulet, armband, yep. cold iron plate. Yep. Still got that buckler. I guess it, if he loses the great sword, he can just have some extra defense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's two-handed. We're treating it as a two-handed weapon. Okay. All right, guys. Um, mercenaries, and then we're done for the night. Um. Okay. The uh, crossbowman is going to move two spaces to the right and attack with his broadsword. All right. Three dice. One skull. And one skull. Okay. All right, one skull. Ah, no defense. It's another hit. Okay. Um half damage it's taken move three the move uh, the gray scout seven spaces to the left okay into the corner yep and then put the swordsman and the halberdier I guess right at the door to that room, uh, in the room that they're at, just move them to the door. That way they're ready to go to the hallway next turn. Okay, swordsman in the doorway. Yep. Halberd air next to him. Yep. Yep. Alright, red team. The diagonal. All right, Anixia uh, has to bring us home. Are we, are we trying to kite him into that room? That's what I was thinking. Yeah, because none of my guys well, can well, Because nobody... Yeah, they can't really get up there. Uh, if you bring the scout back, the only other people over there, like I said, is the knight, the dwarf, and the, and the elf, which can probably do more damage than having all these uh, mercenaries in the way. All right. 
Uh, so my mercenaries are up, right? Yep. Yeah. So let's uh, let's move the the swordsman. Oops. Swordsman. Okay. I uh, will try to move him into that room. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. You're going to move him into the uh, the room to the south, or you mean the corridor? Oh, I try. He's already in there. The, yeah, you have, those three mercenaries are already in there. Oh, I would move I... your move your scout all the way, I guess, next to my scout, and maybe move your crossbowman out to the hallway. The other two guys I would just leave in there. I left mine in there. Okay. So, yeah, let's do the, um, the scout out next to his. One, two, three, four, five. Do you still want him to be in the northern corridor, or should we he be back below him? Uh, you can put him south of him. Yeah. And then, and then they uh, put their crossbow yeah. men right there in that doorway. Mm-hmm. Okay. Is it okay? So, Enixius, you want the crossbowman to be in the hallway, right? One, two. Three, so four, he can. S- yep, and he can look down at everybody's back at the moment. Okay, so he's one away from the elf. Is that what you want? Yeah. Yes. That would move the space. Okay. Excellent. All right. So next time it'll be Zargon's turn. Thanks everybody for playing. HeroQuest fans. Thank you. Yeah. My, uh, let's see. Yeah, my niece is having a birthday party, just turning nine. So that'll be next weekend. And the weekend after that, I might have something going on. So might go on a little hiatus. But anyway, this was a lot of fun. Thanks, guys, for playing. Uh, we, at least we were off to a good start. And hey, other people that didn't play this time, keep in mind, the iron door is right here. So if we send other heroes into battle, they don't have far to go to get into the action. So. Yep. Other heroes, other mercenaries. Yep, exactly. Exactly right. And I do, did enjoy the participation. So thanks, guys, for playing, and have a good night. Definitely check out J on YouTube. What is it? You're like on all social media as Warbuilder twenty two J or J twenty two. Yeah, it's uh, Warbuilder J twenty two for YouTube, and anything else is either Jace or J twenty two or just Jace. Okay, so wherever it's available. Now, can you list all the social medias you're on? Is it Instagram? No, I'm only on Twitch, Twitch, uh, Reddit, Discord, Reddit, YouTube, Discord, YouTube. Okay. So do you have your own uh, Discord, too? Yeah, uh, I don't have much on it. I, oh. I want to say there's only a couple people on it. Oh, but it's just something that I started to do just to put my stuff down so that I wasn't... I didn't feel like I was just overtaking everybody else's stuff. Oh, that's cool. So Hey, well, you know, you can plug that in our Discord if you haven't already and under websites. I guess it's not really a website, but I mean, our customer creations, whatever. Uh, or the comments section, you know, it's just something. So, cool. Well, thanks. And Anixius, um, just plugging away, living your best life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep, exactly. Honestly, Are you going to... sometimes being a content creator is exhausting. I mean, it's supposed to be fun, and it is. But sometimes it's just like, oh, man, I need a break. <laughs> yeah, I don't have time to create content at all. Yeah. Yeah. But you get to participate. Were, were you going to ask me something? Yep. Um, or you said you're going on vacay, so I'm guessing you'll update your calendar yes. or something. Yes, I will. Okay. I'll update the schedule. But yeah, for now, just assume no Saturday stream, uh, unless we take a rain rain check on that. Okay. But anyway, yeah, should be fun. Actually, um, my niece uh, painted a couple of miniatures with us uh, this past weekend. It's kind of oh, cool. Nice. Um, with her permission, I'm going to share those photos on Discord when I get a chance. So Sweet. Yeah, pretty fun. She's like, this says 14 and up. <laughs> like Reaper Bones. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's just more of a suggestion. Yeah. So, 
Yep, it's a pointy sword. Don't pointy. poke yourself in the eye. The pointy sword. <laughs> See, I'm, it's adult supervision right here, right here. It's a collectible. <laughs> well, it's like I told her, hey, you know, if someone just thinks it's a kid's toy, gives it to a baby, the baby's going to start chewing on it. It's like, that's not what they intended. Yeah. Or the kid's going to be like, this is boring. It doesn't do anything. It's just a hunk of plastic that's unpainted. Yeah. That's a life you're talking oh, about. Then it gets thrown at your eye. Yeah. Then you're sorry. <laughs> well, all right, guys. All right, everybody have a great night. And uh, stay safe you out too. there if you're in the path of storms. Drive safe. Hunker down if you got to. And we'll catch you next time on HeroQuest fans. <laughs>